What's up, everybody? It's Chris from the Brajcast bringing you episode number five. Today's guest, pretty special one for me as I get to reconnect with my old school homeboy, Nelson Aponte Calon. Me and Nelson talk old school heart pack shit. We talk boxing. We talk MMA, of course. But most importantly, Nelson brings me and you up to date with the current situation of Puerto Rico. We're two weeks plus out from Maria and shit is still whack as all fuck down there. And yes, I just said whack as all fuck. I would stop this fucking right now and redo it again, but legitly, this is like the 50th fucking time I've done this. So, we're just going to drive on. (laughs) So, I don't know where to go from there. So, you just sit back, relax, listen to the Broshcast brand new fucking introduction. Let's just start the show. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sponsored by the ridiculously amazing adventure of Haley Spaghetti. Available in bookstores and online now. Our three judges scoring for tonight's show are Erlen Meyer, the inventor. Master Wu Ping of the We Wando School of Fighting and his apprentice, the 10 year old martial arts phenom, Haley Spaghetti. And when the action begins, the referee for the show will be tossed right out the window. And now. This is the moment Rajcast fans listening around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Rajcast Studios in Mazomani, Wisconsin, it's time! One hour of mind-blowing conversation for the podcasting championship of the world. Introducing first, casting out of his office corner, he is a Chojitsu Grandmaster and a black belt at Knowledge Bomb University, boasting a perfect podcasting record of 420 wins with zero losses. He stands at 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 180 and one half pounds. Fighting at Amazomany, Wisconsin. Introducing the reigning, defending, podcasting, Champion of the world, the broadcast very own Christopher Michael Carowitz. What's going on? There it is. There it is. Oh, you sound good. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even sure if this was going to work at all. But... Well, how are you? What are you going through your phone or through your computer? No, my phone. My computer's a little outdated. I mean, man, that computer is running on Vista. <laughs> 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 oh. Heck yeah, man. Hey, that, 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 that little laptop is a tank, though. Hey, man. Plows <laughs> through plows through porn sites. <laughs> <laughs> Does what you need it to do. That's all that fucking matters. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I can stream fights. That's. That's what my, my main concern is that I can stream the fights. If I can stream the fights, I'm good with it. For sure. My, my, my loyal friend for the last four or five years or so. so. Where do you stream through? <clears throat> uh, part, what's that? How do you watch your fights? Uh, normally, VIP box dot is, I want to say. <laughs> Where the hell is that from? That's, I don't know. Iceland, I want to say. It's one of those friggin' European countries over there. It streams live? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's Clear. Far. 
What? Clear. Oh, yeah. I watched. I, I didn't have any problems with that Mayweather-McGregor fight. Nice. None. None. I mean, I will say, though, that, that was the first time I had ever used that, that one website. And uh, before that, it was, uh, it was it, I mean, it was, it was hell. Like, it took, us, it took us a good half hour to find a good link. And then we stuck with that one. And it ended up being some dude with a, a camera and a tripod facing his TV. Hell yeah. As the, the fight was being, was being you know, uh, uh, telecasted on the TV. And, it, I mean, no glitches. It was HD. It was perfect. Perfect. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of an app called Periscope that a lot of people use. I personally never have used it, but it's basically, if I did use it, I could just log in and then like anybody who followed me could just watch whatever my phone is fucking pointing at, basically, the camera is pointing at. Okay. It's like a fucking Periscope out of a goddamn sub. Yeah, 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 out of a sub, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but PJ turned me on to that one. That's how he watches his fights. But that's also sweet too. Uh, I have seen interviews done through Periscope and and like weigh-ins. So so like when I watch a weigh-in on YouTube, like through the official UFC, you get like mm -hmm. uh, you get those those um what do you call it? Those general uh, views or whatever camera angles. But then you can watch them through other people. Yeah. You know, doing it through Periscope when they're like right on stage live which is really sweet you know it's a way different angle you can actually see the crowd and shit it's nuts yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try well I, I don't think i'll be able to try that for for longer but right. we'll see we'll see how that goes <laughs> so you're heading out to fucking back to pr or what's going on with that yeah yeah i mean uh Damn. that's the that's the plan like right now I, I i sold my car yesterday uh my tv and my uh my surround sound system and everything my little my little audio visual setup I, i'm actually getting rid of all that stuff uh so, so it sounds like a definite it, plan then yeah yeah no absolutely like it's uh it, i'm, I'm I, I stopped basically it was it, it came to a point where i just wanted to stop wondering how things are going and actually getting to know how things are going i'm i'm, I'm sick and tired of going on facebook and, and i haven't been on facebook in a, in a couple of days simply because i'm sick and tired of everybody you know wondering what's going on wondering what's going on a lot of people talking about i'm out of here i'm out of here and I'm thinking I find myself in a in a in a position where, granted that I'm not rich, I'm not at all. I'm, I mean, but but uh, because of my disability and everything like that, I, I I still get paid. So if I go out over there, yes, I don't I don't have a good back. I get that, but I have two good arms, you know, and uh, and uh and I feel like there's a lot of things that I can that I can do um to help out, man. You know, it's just a uh, I guess not necessarily a fee a way to feel like i'm doing something but 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 in essence that's exactly what it is i want i just don't i don't want to look back at this time th and think you know what i i could have done something i could have gone back and helped my people out and and i didn't do it and god damn it you know i i i regret not doing so no i, wa I want to be i want to be able to say you know what i i i did this i was there when 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 puerto rico needed me i i i was there to to to, to do my part and at the end of the day i was part of the recovery effort you know and 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 I, I i feel like it's just it's just time that i go in and do it just just for my for my sake and 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 just just to feel like i'm doing something basically fuck yeah man kudos to you for fucking doing that and for just fucking acting on it tons of people fucking a majority of people never act on that should i should i no just yeah. stay and be comfortable and and blah 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 yeah and then then you got to deal with the fucking regret at the end you know oh, like <laughs> You know, you know, and I, you know, I go online and I, I can't understand. I don't know what the fuck to believe. I don't know what the fuck to believe. Oh, everything's going good. Shit, no, fucking nothing's going good. You know, other sites tell me don't believe this, don't believe that. You know, and I, I, I just, I'm off of Facebook. I'm just, you know, I, I'm just gonna post for broadcast stuff, and and that's it. I'm, I'm, I do personal stuff uh, on different sites because. Um, Correct. You know, these different sites, I don't have 385 fucking quote-unquote friends, you know, that I got to, yeah. A, swipe through their bullshit. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, yeah. B, have 385 <laughs> people ready to jump on me because if they had a fucking bad day, you know. Like, so these newer sites where I'm, that I'm fresh on, that I'm like a baby on, like, even like Twitter, I don't, I don't, I never really was on that a lot, but now I'm, I am more, but, you know, I have a real small bubble of friends there because 
because when when we all got Facebook, we just jumped on and it was like the first super big thing after MySpace and and the first thing we all did, right. you know, a majority of us did was fucking add add everybody we work with, all of our friends that we hang out with, and then you start digging into your fucking high school friends, right? You start adding everybody yeah. you yeah. fucking school with, and now fifteen years later. I don't really fucking care what fucking ninety percent of those fucking people are doing, as they don't care about what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? It's not just correct. Like, it's the other way around. They don't give a shit. They don't give a fuck about what the fuck I'm no. doing. Otherwise, they would fucking no. chime in on a, you know and be like, "Hey, what's up, bro?" Yeah. The only day that, yeah, that no. the only day on Facebook where anybody probably gets like hundred and sixty fucking of those little red balloons is your fucking birthday, and that's only because Facebook yeah. tells you on nine different devices that it's the it same. Rem- it birthday. reminds you, yeah. Yeah, and all you got to do yeah. is press a button. You don't even have to write a goddamn message. It'll write the message. All you nope. got to do is be like, eh, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. not personal. That's H- not H- H- HBD. <laughs> right, right, you fucking... HBD. <laughs> you bitch ass. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Dislike. Fucking bitch. <laughs> right? <laughs> fucking took you all this time to go in here. Just fucking type in three fucking letters, you motherfucker. <laughs> H fucking B D. Right. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so no, yeah, fucking man. Facebook. Facebook just became a fucking platform for people to pretend like their life is so fucking perfect. Yeah. So they can just judge everybody else. And I, I, I got sick and tired of that bullshit. Like, uh, um, you know, like I, 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 I remember I went through a phase where I, I, I used Facebook to just fucking bl- blow up. And if I had a, a fucking if I had a, if I had to just uh, scream something, or feel like I, I, if I felt like the world needed to hear something, I'd go on Facebook and I'd put it on there. And then, you know, I just, I just, you know, a lot of people just jumped in there. Not the, you know, uh, sometimes you know, I, I feel like fuck, you know, if if people said half the shit that I said, you know, and were brave enough, man, you know, they they probably feel feel a little better about themselves. But you know, people fucking criticizing about how much I was putting out there and everything, and I get it now. I mean, I'm not a motherfucking Kim Kardashian, you know. I don't fucking want <laughs> all my shit out there. Um, but yeah, you know, Facebook is just Facebook. Uh, I don't know. I, I still like it. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of positives in Facebook, but I'm not. I'm just not into it anymore. Like well, I like I used to before. Definitely for like someone more in your position where you have family a fucking miles and miles, you know, an yeah. ocean away. Like I yeah. get that, you know, like, yes, we need to share. We need to, con- you know, communicate through here. I don't yeah. need, you know, every, everybody in my family lives within a, you know, they're right here or whatever, you know, I mean, it's, it's different. I don't need to see all this other shit. So I can see why you would stay on it for like minimal reasons. Definitely. But oh, now, now, yeah, actually ever since, uh, before Irma, which, uh, uh, Irma kind of coincided with, uh, couple of days before my birthday and I, I, I honestly just opened up Facebook to, to, to wish everybody in Puerto Rico, uh, you know, luck through the, the, the imminent passing of Irma. And, uh, and, you know, of course I got a few jokes a couple of days later when it was my birthday, you know, people are like, Oh yeah, now we know the real reason why you jumped back on Facebook. <laughs> so, you know, but, but, uh, but I mean, dude, it's, Dude, if your birthday is nine eleven, do you really want people to know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> fucking, That's I went to the bar here. Some dude heard me talking in Spanish. He's like, "What the fuck? I could have saw you were you were Arab." Like, really? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's some crazy shit, man. You know, but but uh, but yeah, no, Facebook has definitely been like right now. Uh, Facebook has been my go to um, um, portal, so to speak. My my window into what's going on in Puerto Rico. And for a while, it was like people were communicating with each other, like the, like uh, us Puerto Ricans who live in, 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 in the States. You know, we, we uh, as, as it always happens, tragedy brings people together and unites people. For sure. And in, in times like these right now, when we, we're living through such divisive, you know, times, you know, it, it, it took for something like this to, to happen, for us to come together all over again as, as, uh, as, as one uh, nation, so to speak, you know, um, um, and, and, uh, and we all, you know, we, we helped each other get news from somebody else's relatives. And, you know, if, if anybody heard something, we were quick to post it on Facebook and to share it on Facebook. And that, that became, uh, I mean, I, I didn't sleep for like three, four days after, yeah. after Maria because of the, you know, um, yeah, fuck, you know, you, you see the satellite imagery and everything like that, and you start you start seeing these these photos and videos that are starting to leak through the the the, the internet, and it's like holy shit, 
what the fuck happened to my green island you know oh my goodness green island indeed i'm i'm looking at it actually right in front of me on uh, google earth i wanted to get a fucking better grasp because it's been a long time since i fucking even really thought about like mm -hmm. it you know yeah. and fucking it looks big when i zoom in but then i zoom out and i was like shit man it, it's it is a small island out there in the middle of the goddamn ocean, man. It's a big ocean. A oh, very big ocean. Water. water <laughs> yeah. by ocean Lots of water. water. Oh, my God. What a fucking retard, man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> fucking retard. Yeah, that dude, um, I, I don't, I don't, um, you know, I don't, I don't understand, you know, that this dude um, went out of his way to, to even critique people regarding, you know, all, the, they, all, all we want to do is just sit around and wait for things to happen. No. You know, before the fucking, before everybody showed up to help, you know, the people were already removing, you know, um, blockages from roads and everything like that. It was the people that actually managed to do that. It wasn't the government that did that. You know, I'm still getting texts. Last text I got from my mom was, uh, came in on Thursday, last Thursday. And she was telling me that, that, uh, you know, they're good. They've had to go to, to San Juan for supplies because they can't get anything in my hometown. Uh, no communication, no power. Uh, water only two hours a day and uh and she said that as far as the federal government or the the state government uh nothing regarding aid has been distributed in 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 you know in the town of Maman lives which yeah. coincidentally happens to be one of the towns that that got the full blunt force of the hurricane because the hurricane came in through there what's the name of that town maunabo m-a-u-n i'm sorry m-a-u-n-a-b-o m-a-u-n-a-b-o Southeast side of the island. It's like a little corner, little town. South. Very small town. East. <laughs> I'm trying to find that shit. There's a lot of names that I do not recognize down there. Oh, yeah, no. You'll see Naguabo, Guaynabo, freaking. But it's. Uh, it's so it, they drove you, across the island. They, they went San over Juan. to San Juan just to be able to get a signal on their phone, yeah? Jesus. How far of a drive is that? Well, the, she, she said that, that it, normally it's. it's uh, 55 to an hour 10 depending on traffic you know it could take that long because the first trek of the trip is a half hour through the mountains and then you make it to the highway the highway um you know it eventually ends in a couple of stoplights and whatnot that's obvious if, you know gr you know uh grind you to a halt but <laughs> but but that trip uh, they said because of how the roads are because of uh you know certain roads still being uh, waterlogged and everything. I mean, everything is still inundated with, you know, with water and whatnot. Uh, it said it took, it took them close to two hours. Jeez. So. Jeez. Just to get cell service too? Yeah. So as soon as you go out of that range, there's no, oh, I'll be back in once I get home. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll pop back in and get my four bars like we're all used to. Yeah. Yeah. No, basically the conversation ended well. If the, if the call drops, just know that I'm driving here and, and it might, <laughs> <laughs> well then. just like that I still, that was it i didn't even get to say bye man <laughs> man so yeah so it's it, it's pretty so bad you, and uh my my buddy in. uh you can fly in though yes yes and there, and is, there, in, in, is there multiple airports in puerto rico or is there one like major fucking airport there's uh there's multiple airports in puerto rico right now three of them are hi handling uh that I know of two of them for sure, for sure, handling international flights. Because uh, believe it or not, uh, if you're flying to Florida, it's still considered an international flight. <laughs> I have no idea how the fuck that's possible. But anywho, the, the only ones that handle international flights is, is San Juan and uh, Aguadilla, which is on the upper, t uh, upper west, uh, west, like northwest corner of the island. Okay, okay. And so the very, I mean. very northwest, the very, very... It, Tippy top northwest corner of the island is Aguadilla. The airport in in, in Aguadilla, it's a, uh, I can't remember what it was called. Oh my god, it was a. Uh, hey, pause real quick. Is that A G U A D I L L A? <laughs> what you just said? Agu yes, sir. Agu yeah. All right. Agu Agu Aguadilla. Yeah. Aguadilla. Yeah. Okay, I see it. That's that's where I broke. That's where I broke my neck. <laughs> Jeez. That's where I fucking broke my neck. That's where I dove off the boat in, in the middle of the night and broke my neck. Oh, my Aguadilla. God. Dude. That's, what, that's, that's where I went to college at. You fucking, what would you think? It was fucking yeah. 20 feet deep and it was six inches deep? 
Yeah, no, normally it is very deep and clear. Like I, you know, my, my kids, oh, I, I took my kids over to that beach. I hadn't gone to that beach in 23 years. And I took oh. my kids over there last year and it was exactly how I remembered it. Super blue, super clear. I mean, the, 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 they, they, they were seeing like my, my little daughter, you know, she's 11. She was seeing Dora's, and, I mean, not Dora's, Dory's and, and, right. and Nemo's, and Nemo's and, yeah. you know, all these. Oh yeah, yeah that, that's exactly. She, oh my God, look at those Nemo's. Look at those toys, <laughs> you know. So, so she got a kick out of that. They saw a little calamari swimming around. We saw this ginormous freaking, um, what is that shit called? Uh, tarpon. Tarpon. Saw, like a uh, big uh, ass fish. Tarpon. Fuck, fuck yeah, it was. It was. I mean, <laughs> fuck yeah. Kim, Kim, Kim and I saw it, and I, I pointed down. She looks at me all big, wide eyed. I mean, this thing was literally just hovering. In the bottom of the ocean, like I'm the pimp, motherfucker. You right. ain't, you can't scare me. Right. You know, do something. And I mean, this shit was easily, easily six, six and a half foot long. I mean, this thing was fucking huge. And uh, and I'm looking at it from, I mean, visibility. I shit you not, visibility must have been 70, 75 feet easily. Gee. It, it was. It, it's the it's the perfect Gee. water for for scuba diving and snorkeling classes. And that's why I wanted to take my kids there because no, the water is really, but that night, it, mm. it, it, you know, it was at night, you know, this fucking moron, you know, 18 years old, drunk <laughs> as fuck, you know, I, I was, I wasn't thinking, oh, there's a fucking floor down there. And I just fucking jumped off. I, my guy had just gotten to the beach with a joint. I needed to run, motherfucker. I was like, hey, hold on, motherfucker, I'm coming. Here I am. Yeah, I dove off and, and then I hit my neck. Uh, I, clen I I mean, I hit my head. I clenched my, my you know, I, I, I went into a instant, instant uh, uh, fetal position underwater. Uh, and then I thought, okay, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how these things happen and go through your mind so fast. Right. But, but the fact of the matter was it, it, it did. It woke me up instantly. And I'm thinking underwater, I'm thinking if I can't move my legs, I'm fucked. And, and instantly I, I stretched my legs. I, I, I pushed myself up, up off the bottom, stood up and said my neck. And then I, I went underwater and I oh, collapsed. Geez. And then I, w I woke up in the hospital after that. But yeah, jeez. Well, yeah I got, I got to thank that for my, my, my dis disability you know, but, uh. but I'm, you know, I'm good. You know, we used to work <laughs> together. So, you know, at least I'm, you know, I get, I used to be able to even play basketball for a little right, bit, you know. Right. So I mean, to to be to have to have learned to to have ba a balance, you know, some of those things that you take for granted for so many years, like for learning sure. how to walk, you know, ha having not not having that that worry that you're gonna be walking and fucking falling and shit because you you cannot you cannot like maintain equilibrium. Your equilibrium is gone for months on end, and. uh and uh, you, you, every step that you take is, is very uncertain. You know, you're shaking and shit. You don't have the, the strength because you spend so much time in bed that your fucking muscles and your legs wither away and them near melt. You know, it, it was, it was, uh, it, it was, uh, is that? that's a year, two years. I mean, what it was, it was, uh, it was a good year. Man. It was a good year. I mean, uh, year, year and a half. I know I was in the hospital for a close, uh, Close to four months, and yeah. then uh, and then I was yeah I was I was bolted to the to the back of, of a bed to the headboard. I was bolted to that headboard for weeks <laughs> and weeks on end. Dude. Like I mean I I, I I had a my mom had to bathe me in bed. I had to shit and pee in bed. I mean, I, I couldn't do shit, man. I was yeah. I, I, it, it was a it was That's a very humbling, humbling experience. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You, you start looking at life. Uh, very different mm -hmm. having said that of course i was 18 so that shit pff, that shit fucking went out <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking bad. as soon as i was good i was fucking good i, I thought i was in this fucking instructable man I, I i could not be fucking hell yeah he man was a fucking pussy next to me he man ain't had shit on me fuck that motherfucker man, man. And that was in pr and you were 18 yep man i, I was you fucking when you were like half a lifetime after that, yeah, I met you yeah. Were like mid thirties, right? I was. Uh, let me see. We oh, met in we met in oh three, I think oh three. Damn man, fourteen years ago at the Huda. Yeah, yeah. 
it was in 2003, at the end of 2003, because I remember getting hired by Hot Effect. Um, it was it was close to December of that year. No shit. Uh, yeah, and uh, it was it was pretty fucked up. Yeah, I know. And you were working there with PJ. You guys were building a load and shit. Like, um, <laughs> oh no, no, no. Actually, you know what? That was in in '04. It was in '04. It was it was because I had already worked there and had gotten locked up and had came back. That's right, because you were yeah. some dude that had come back from <laughs> yeah. from fucking <laughs> from the clank and shit. We were correct, like, oh, correct. Shit, this, who's this bad motherfucker gonna be? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shit, I remember what I walked into that motherfucker with too. I was I was wearing some red ass fucking sweatpants with yeah. some red and white fucking <laughs> shoes. I, it, it was like the Wisconsin Badgers outfit. Yeah, like I, I was very, very Wisconsinite by then. <laughs> <laughs> Came in and got your job right back. Did you leave on third shift, or did you come back as a third shifter? No, I left on third. I had already worked for John, so I. Oh, you know, okay. I, I I wanted to work for John because I knew that I, working for for him, I I would I either recover most of because I I was already making a certain amount of money, and then they started me out, um, like. Like remember when you started through temp, you started at eight eighty an hour. Yeah. And yeah. then once you went through Huddle Park, they they started you at nine ninety. So you got a buck ten right, more right. and blah blah blah. Then you got well, the shift premium and shit. Correct. So I remember at that point when I when I got sent in, it was uh I was at ten forty five. So when they brought me back, they started me out at nine ninety. So I had to regain the you know the, all the footing that I had gained up until at that point. I had to re- get retrained, get you know yeah. all of that stuff. So. Did you, when you left, were you in the lab? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you oh, were yeah. in the lab. You were in quality control. For everybody who's yeah. listening who doesn't know, we we worked at uh, Huttapag fucking heat treating fucking metal facility. Yeah, uh, Pag metal treating. <laughs> yeah, the Hutta. Yeah, we just fucking drove through their shit less than four months ago. We went to that area for something and had to burn some time, so we just like to, to drive through and see what's new and shit. and <coughs> Just drove through, and those same fucking doors seemed like they were open. That down by the where the big vacuum area yeah. was, you know, they'd have you had to have all those doors open because there was thirteen fucking furnaces running at fucking two thousand degrees. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I, but I tell you what, I think Man. I think Hutterpack because I would not have gotten to understand all the shit surrounding nine eleven had I not worked for Hutterpack. Twice, that, was, yeah, that, but, oh. that, that, that was my, my introduction to metallurgy and the, 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 the temperature at which steel melts. Yes. That, that yes. was, uh, <laughs> that's the, Woo, big, that's one of the big ones, man. One of the big yeah. head scratchers. Yeah. I want to have, I definitely want to reach out to structural engineers that, you know, not like I want to bring them on for strictly to talk nine 11 conspiracy stuff, but correct. I would like to, you know, they're going to know what I'm getting at, but I, I lay up, lay out a series of questions, you know, uh, if, if fuel burns at X degrees and a building is made of this and will it melt? And, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> you I, mean, know no, if, I, I just don't think that there was, that there was a, the, the, uh, like, you know, if you remember, you know, going back to those furnace operation days, you know, you create a certain atmosphere within the furnace. For sure. I, I mean, how, how, we're we're talking this this thing was not flaming or anything for it. Even the amount of time that that it took for steel to harden, let right. alone melt. Right. You know, I mean, there, there was no way that in that itty bitty period of time that that perfect atmosphere for that fucking steel for those steel beams from the fucking late sixties, early that fucking hard fucking steel that withstood yeah. just about everything before. Yeah, all of a sudden. The fucking conditions. Somebody had farted in the fucking basement or some shit. <laughs> the method, methane was in full force down there. It was just the perfect atmospheric conditions for that shit to create a fucking furnace down there that literally melted the base of the goddamn building. Right. It's I I, I don't know. Anyway, the, the official answer is is uh or the official wording is there was a bunch of diesel generators that are down there fueling a bunch of shit for there and the jet fuel. Uh, upon impact, all the jet fuel went down <coughs> all of the elevator shafts. Okay. Uh, you know, 80 or 100 stories down all the elevator shafts and then pooled up down there and created enough of a smoldering fire and heat to 
to have the building collapse on itself, on its own self. It didn't fall in on any other, it didn't interrupt any other fucking shit except its, its sister building and itself. That's, yeah. You know, that's just like fucking. No, nothing around it. I know. That was yeah. pretty nothing fucking else. crazy. <laughs> uh, free oh, fall. Very, yeah. You know, you watch videos of it. You can see fucking. Yeah, man. I don't know what I'm looking at, but it certainly looks like explosions coming out of each of these, you know, windows. You can see them exploding out before the top, yeah. you know, is falling. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, dude. It There's... just looks like when I when you watch a fucking casino getting toppled you know for exactly that's that's exactly what came to mind it was uh it was the casinos in vegas that they imploded a couple of years yeah, ago man. and that's exactly what it reminded me of you um, know i mean dude we can go on uh, on and on about <laughs> all kinds of shit because dude the way the way i see things in here like you know you go back many 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 years and, and this is coming from the from the perspective of, of a puerto rican that has been told different stories being from puerto rico you know over here God knows how many people in the states don't even know that Puerto Rico fucking existed exactly. until until the fucking big thing with the debt you know took over. And now with Maria and shit, mm-hmm. you know nobody knew about Puerto Rico. I remember you know it's not like my kids go to school and they're taught uh, you know uh, uh, alongside with the history of the U.S. You know that they taught them about. I I, I don't know how much they talk about the Spanish American War. I don't know how much they talk about the 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 what you call it the Jones Act or the or the fucking uh, the Treaty of Paris of, of of 1898, or God knows, you know what what all they they've been taught. I seriously right. doubt if they, you know. Um, but there's so much going on, you know, over the years. You know, it's like it's like you're only told what people want you to know or what people want you to hear. And uh, and it, it, I don't want to go and compare this to to these big communist friggin' totalitarian countries where people are. I mean, but we're. We're, uh, I mean, how far from that are we, man? You know, I mean, how far from that, from, from how far from that are we, where we are steered to believe certain things, uh, for so long that eventually we just believe them as fact. Dude. Yeah. I'm, I subscribe to that. You know, it's, you know, uh, easy comparison is the country in North Korea or, or old school Russia in like the eighties, we would see these kind of like, yeah these videos of like uh propaganda being blasted on the streets kids fucking uh, yep. blindly uh <coughs> being forced to blindly follow the leader you know and shit like that and uh and people not really having many rights and shit and and if you you can kind of make that comparison today man like right now they want us to blindly fucking follow this fucking national anthem they want us to stand up and and put my hand over my heart my life my life blood mm-hmm. my heart and and basically basically blindly devote my devotion to this fucking country and whatever decisions that right now currently Donald Trump and and his staff are making blindly devote it okay no uh you want the kids in the fucking mm-hmm. school exactly the fucking pledge of allegiance i pledge allegiance to the flag like what i don't even know what that fucking means when i'm that age i just i'm just reciting propaganda so it's like the same <coughs> Correct. thing you just erase the north korea flag and all the north koreans in these propaganda videos and plop in usa it's, it's the same it's fucking bit, thing dude we just have three or four it's choices very similar situation you think exactly. we're free oh because we can choose we can buy a car from five different companies every year but we, we can never just buy like a why can't anybody just make a car that's five thousand bucks and sell it to everybody nope not happening. Correct. this is not a free nope. country well no. that's, a, that's a pretty bold statement i mean there's a lot of aspects <laughs> that we've been made to think of we're free and and we're really not if you really dig further Oh yeah, no. I mean, in a, in a free country, technically, you should be able to own your shit. You never truly own anything. And if any time, if any time you 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 you're looking to buy property, for instance, you have to consider that that for as long as you own that property, you have to pay taxes on on said property. So, are you ever done paying for your fucking thing? And the moment you fail to pay your taxes, the government can just come in and swoop in and take it away. Yep. So, yep. I mean, do you ever own right, shit? Yeah. Do you do you really want to fucking go and spend years and years and years saving for something that's never truly going to be yours. Right. I, I, right. I think about that, you know what I mean? And, and, uh, the being again from Puerto Rico and having a different set of, 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 of laws that go down there. Like for instance, I own a house and I don't have to pay pro- uh, property taxes on, on, on my house. If, if that's my, my only, 
uh, property. You know, if that's my main property where I live in, I don't have to pay property taxes on said property. No, shit. but any 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 additional properties that I may that I may may have, you know, you you have to pay property uh, property taxes on on those properties. Which now, seems you're smart. Legit. That seems correct, legit, right? Now, if if you're smart, then you go and of course the priciest property is the one that you want to say that you live in. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you you, you, have, you know, li, 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 you know, it, it is what it is. But I mean, hey, that's. <laughs> that's that's just how, how how it is down there so i at least i know my house is paid for my house is is mine i don't have to worry about oh i owe the government this much i owe the government that much no, i'm i'm in the clear as that but, but, yeah. uh, but again going back no go ahead sorry no, i was just gonna say uh, adding to that point where from from me to uh say my work is 15 minutes no i shouldn't say that if 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 I was to walk in an hour in any direction, I would probably skip between five or six different property taxes. I just crossing these imaginary lines, <coughs> and people are playing varying oh, yeah, amounts, varying amounts of property taxes based on like, and shit. I don't even really understand to be talking about it like credibly. Be my myself when when I want to talk about property taxes and why they're collected in certain areas because I've never owned a home for that reason, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So, but. I have an understanding that it has to do with your school district and everything like that. And, you know, yeah. other fucking variables and water and all that shit. But yeah, that no, just I mean, seems, seems super logical. Like to just, yeah, your first property, no, no property taxes, but if you want to start owning more property then yeah, for sure. You got to yeah, start and that's, a little that's, bit extra, you know? And that's an, that's an incentive for the homeowner to, to actually continue to do better and, and maybe possibly invest in real estate, you know, for that's, sure. that's, and that's that, that I, I find that to be very, very, uh, very, very good. I think it's a very good method. I mean, it's uh, not, uh, you know, with a, with a country that's in debt the way it is right now, you know, like, can you, can you argue, can you make the argument that it's right. picking a winner? Well, you know what? I, I, I don't know, but it certainly made it better for us, um, you know, as, as residents of the island and whatnot. Um, but I mean, again, it, it's things in here, you're never free. You know, you're, you're the own, the, 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 even the citizens themselves tried restrict try restricting your rights your 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 so called god given rights human rights mm -hmm. you know people try taking those away from you you know you're you, you only have freedom of speech so long as people agree with what you say the moment you dis they disagree oh no hold on you can't be saying <laughs> that shit you know True. so it, it, everything is 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 so uh you know if, if there was if, it, if there was true freedom why why should i have to measure Every word that comes out of my mouth, out of fear that that some people are not going to be in agreement with what I think. You know, I, I I I don't I don't I don't get that, but you know, it is what it is. It's life, I guess. It's unfortunate that that's fucking life because it doesn't have to fucking be this way. No, absolutely we're not. Just, you know, we're caught up in this fucking cycle. I mean, me and you were born into a world that already had fucking five or six billion fucking people on it trying to figure shit out just how we are right now. Yeah. We were just born into this huge <laughs> fucking mess and just had to, you know, kind of force to jump on and fend for yeah. ourselves, you know, and it's like, fucking, I don't want to. If, <laughs> you know, you motherfucker, you give me a contract when I'm born and tell me you, you're going to pay rent, you're going to do all this shit and blah, 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 you know, all this other stuff that you're going to be forced to do. Um, no, I'm good. Uh, I'll right. Try, you know, I'm good. I'll, I'll try the next time. Something else. Correct. You know, fuck that shit. You know, and just fucking working to fucking pay bills and shit like that. And, and, and this whole get a house, go to college, get a house. Have the fucking wife, the three kids, the two dogs. I mean, first I hear is the first thing is college is debt. House is even more debt. I mean, and, and it's good to go to college. I'm not saying like, but I'm just, you know, what's what's attached to that in this country is a huge amount of fucking debt. Oh, yeah. And you and I know that from having gone to college, you know, like, you know, going back to school. You know, you just know now as, as adults. Trying, it's, just trying to go, just trying to better myself. And, yeah. and now I'm in debt, you know, and Correct. so therefore... Therefore, there's no fucking. Are you taking a piss? No, no, no. I'm in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, not even. No, no, no. I'm no. Making that this grand point. No, I don't even remember. What I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I was I was going to the kitchen. I was uh I was pouring uh water in a in a bowl I was eating out of. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no fucking like this uh. 
there, there's so many things that are very, not necessarily wrong. I mean, one of the things that I disagree with uh, that I can't really seem to get everybody to go on board with is, for instance, you know, you look at countries like uh, Poland, Russia even, and, I, and this Russia, I kind of, it, it's, I, I use, I use Russia very loosely when I, when I talk about this topic. Uh, uh, Germany, more more so Germany than any other country over there. Um, uh, the, the Ukraine, uh, the, uh, most of these countries, they they have uh, uh, assimilated their history. They have accepted their history and moved past their history. In the U.S., it seems like people just are so concerned about trying to cover up the negative aspects of the U.S. over the years. That, that they, they want people to, to think that those things either never happened or, you know, we've, we've moved. No, we haven't moved beyond that. We, we, have, we have still to accept our reality in here. You know, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's been said that if, if, if you don't, um, let me see, how do I, if, if, you don't, if you don't acknowledge your mistakes, you're bound to make them again. Mm-hmm. And that's something that, that I feel like, that, like uh, that the U.S. Is, an, is, is, uh, is going back on a cycle. Uh, like back to to the times when, I mean, sh- civil rights are violated left and right. Whether you're white, whether you're black, whether you're brown, purple, mm-hmm. orange, whatever you are, you know, mm-hmm. your 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 rights are violated left and right. Again, for for just simply talking of something that most people don't agree with, for believing in a different different religion. But I mean, for 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 speaking, fucking, you know, what what how the fuck am I at fault? For having been right. born an American in Puerto Rico and, and that my first language is Spanish. How the fuck am I at fault for that? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I mean, I didn't, I didn't choose that, you know, the, 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 oh, yeah, guys, 1898, fuck, come on over and invade, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, hey, fuck. You know, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't have nothing to do with that shit. That was, well, fucking almost 100 years before I was fucking born. You know, but, but, uh, but you know, I, 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 I uh, we're fortunate enough, I guess, in, in Puerto Rico that we are, you know, raised in a, in a bilingual educational environment. I mean, if you want to learn like I did, you know, you learn. If you don't want to learn. And, uh, you know, I remember as a kid I, growing up and thinking, why the fuck do I want to learn English? You know, we, we speak Spanish. Mm-hmm. And my mom and my, my mom and my, my dad were always like, you know, well, because we, we want you to do better. Because, you know, in, in, in today's world, you know, knowing English is, is, is a positive, is a plus. And if you ever want to go and live in the States, you're going to have to know English. So I, I did my very best to learn English while I was in Puerto Rico, while I was in school. And, uh, and, and of course, you know, I came and submerged myself in the culture and was in, in Wisconsin right away, right off the fucking plane. <laughs> I, I, I didn't, I didn't, not, I could have, I could have tried New York, you know, I could have tried Florida, you know, lots of Spanish people. Ah, fuck that. Wisconsin, Lake Geneva. Let's I'm go to Lake Geneva. This shit. I'm going to be the only one. <laughs> Hell yeah. I got really scared that first week. I counted five blacks in Lake Geneva. I was like, oh shit, I'm in trouble. <laughs> no fucking Puerto Ricans. There was a. You know, of course, there's, there's, you know, your Mexicans and whatnot, but, yeah. you know, uh, um, it, it wasn't the same. It was really difficult for me to, to adjust, uh, you know, culture shock, uh, every, every which way I turned and, and uh, you know, it, it, it wasn't easy, but, but I mean, I, I don't know. I, I went off on a different fucking topic oh, there. Shit. No, keep going there. Yeah. I, was, I remember when you, when you were talking about, um, learning English. I remember when I fucking met you and we got to hanging out, I was always in awe that you could speak two, two fucking languages. Anybody that can do that fluently is it's fucking amazing. and such a useful tool to be able to just, man, just to be able to communicate with everybody around you is just puts you on a different level than, you know, than everybody else in that, you know, particular group or whatnot. It was, I was just remember always being in on, and, you know, I'd always try to, like, speak as much Spanish as I could because that's what, just what we were trying to do and shit like yeah. that. So, fucking, that was cool. And, and Well, you were always different. You know, you weren't, like, like a lot of people don't, don't really want to learn. You, you, uh, you know, you, Kim, uh, I remember PJ and everything. You know, you guys are, are the kind of people that really want to continually, continue to, to educate yourself. For sure. And, and that's, uh, you know, that, that is something that I've always admired in people like you. And, uh, and you guys amongst the, amongst the majority are the minority, you know, there's, uh, <laughs> there, there's not a whole lot of people that want to explore the world that want to see that there's other people in the world who are, who, who operate in a different way, who, who, I mean, who, I mean, you, you, for, you can make the argument that the U S is, is, is the best country in the world. And for me, it has been, but having said that, you know, I'm, 
I, I find that there's a lot of flaws. I feel like we can learn from the rest of the world as to how to, how to operate here so that we can make our world better. I think if we integrate, I mean, we have to, you know, not just, not just integrate as, as a society, but integrate ideas, integrate. Everybody brings something to the table that could bring this, this country together and make it such a, such a, a, a better place than it already is. And, uh, and, and right now the times just don't allow for that. You know, they you know, don't. <clears throat> they don't because we're in like this fucking patriarchal fucking yeah. oh, men yeah. fucking driven society. Oh, you know, yeah. when 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 we what and what's cool though is well, you know, what's cool to me is that I believe in in like you know kind of cycles and and shit is is bound to become cyclical in the in the long run. So as shitty as as this current regime or whatever you want to say is that's in office and and this the whole layout and everything you hinted to it earlier with with your people in puerto rico how the unfortunateness of it the disaster brings your people together you know Mm -hmm. even makes them even stronger that 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 hopefully that following the rules of cycles that coming out of fucking this bullshit that we're all going through here in the United States with shootings and, and hate and tiki torches and fucking just bullshit yeah. every fucking week, dude, every week we're getting, we're getting something now and oh yeah, hopefully it's going to create, you know, blood's going to be shed. Unfortunately, it already has been and it won't be done yet, but you know, hopefully it will create and bring about the change that's going to be necessary and what's cool is that we are in the times to see that, to be part of it, you know, to help fucking move it forward. Like you're doing like fucking getting up out of here and fucking going down there to fucking actually become part of a goddamn movement, you know, to be, mm-hmm. be a fucking human, do yeah. something for your fucking well, people, you know, yeah. it's, it's the well, very nature of fucking being a human. I remember, you know, when back in 98, Puerto Rico got hit by Hurricane George's and I, Hurricane George's was by no means uh, of the, of, of, you know, it was like a category three hurricane. It, it still did plow through Puerto Rico, but it did not cause n- near the damage that, uh, that Maria has. I mean, there was maybe one or two deaths that I can remember. I can't really remember anything. But Maria brought has, so far the death, death, death toll in Puerto Rico is 45. That's what I so hear. Maria, What's uh, the majority it, of that? Not to cut you off, but what is the majority no. of that coming from? Like like a, um, like basically, a death from um, a hurricane is that are we starving? Are we injured during like a, a building falling or like what? Is a a lot of a lot of them are direct direct uh, result of the hurricane per se. You know, for, because of the the destruction. You know, be that landslides, be that uh, um, um, flooding, be that uh, you know Im- getting impacted by by falling structures or flying debris. You know, a lot a lot of those those deaths. I remember the the original death count. Uh, as a direct impact of the hurricane was uh, was originally 16, right. and then after that, it was basically the people that that have either gotten sick since the hurricane because of the poor conditions. Uh, right. Uh, you know, I mean, flies a, a, a flies life cycle is, is 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 a couple of days, you know, long. So I mean, you know, the, the flies have plenty of time in this three week period. They've had plenty of time to to be born and live their entire lives and you know, do do what little flies do. Uh-huh. You know, and and, uh, and they carry diseases. Flies, mosquitoes, they carry diseases. Yep. And so, um, again, the 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 uh, the, her- the the hospitals. I'm sorry, not being um 100 um before the hurricane or anything like that. A lot of people have died because they they weren't ba- getting their basic needs. Uh, some people uh, can't have their dialysis. Uh, the dialysis done. They can't have their cancer treatment uh, continue. Um, there's a uh, um, people that that I believe were may may have gotten hit by cars uh, uh, be, before the the they they put the, the they imposed the curfew. Um, you know there's uh, but the vast majority of, of them are are um, just people getting sick, people that were sick prior to the 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 hurricane and that makes um, sense that it, yeah even 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 five suicides you can throw into that oh, thing because people really? people who people who lost it all and and didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel and uh, decided that that you know hey this is it you know i lost my job i lost my house i have nothing to live for boom you know mm. five people that i that i can recall have committed suicide so far since the storm um so i mean it's uh 
it's a mix of, of a lot of things. And, and, and again, one, one can start thinking and dividing them in, in the categories. And, well, suicide, uh, that might not be attributable to the, to the hurricane per se. But if you think about it, 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 it is a direct consequence of the hurricane hit. you know. It, Absolutely. So, so there's, there's, there's a bunch of things going on. But, but yeah, um, going back to the, the, what I was talking about yep. earlier, and, and unity and tragedy. Uh, when Hurricane George hit Puerto Rico in 98, I remember, you know, number one, we were fucking morons and we went out as the eye was going through because uh, we actually thought that the storm had, had passed. <laughs> and uh, we went outside and everything. And it, I mean, the wind was still blowing, but not as hard. And we could see the trees, over, you know, trees falling, fucking roots up in the air and shit. Mm. Uh, uh, garbage cans that had flown freaking hundreds of meters um fuck i mean it, it was it, it was it was chaos uh and then we were walking out and there was a group of us that were walking out and then all of a sudden the wind starts picking up right away mm. and then we realized the fucking eye was <laughs> was the only thing that had gone over us so it started picking up real fast and then we had to run to the to the house we didn't make it in time so by the time we actually made it to the house we tried closing the door all kinds of water had gone into the the freaking floor and we we, we don't have basements or anything. We, we don't have, uh, most people don't have carpets. We have, uh, we have tile floor. Right. So we were slipping on the fucking tile. It was uh. three of us trying to close a door that's being blasted by 135 mile hour winds. It's not an easy task. No. You know, um, but okay. So storm hits, destruction all over, blah, blah, blah. No power. Um, the people came out of their houses. Those who had food were helping provide for those who didn't have food. Those who had water were helping those that didn't have water and so on. And, and it, was, it, was a, it was a community effort. It was a joint effort by everybody. And, and uh, for a while, you know, no, um, at, at the time, it was mostly TV. 1998, Puerto Rico, hardly anybody had internet. Right. Um, you right. know, we're not talking about computer, tablets, self, you know, smartphones era. Yep. We're talking, talking way before that. And, uh, and like I remember, you know, a group of us. Yeah, it was man. Like we was, we was different kinds of people, you know. From the from the educated to the to the I don't know the the guys like me that 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 have some sort of certificate from one or another institute somewhere in the U.S. or whatever. <laughs> and, and then you know, the high school dropouts, the fucking morons. I mean, we had them all. It was it was it it was cool how we all came together. We had a little. I remember it was a group of us, like twenty twenty five people. We used to get together every night. Uh, on, a, on on this little fucking portable TV, five inch little screen, <laughs> and we would put it on top of a car, and all of us would just cram to watch nine oh two one oh in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> so I mean, you know, it's the weird shit that you do when you're when when you have nothing to do but this, just to help each other out, to kick it with your with your fellow you know friend or whatnot. Not exactly glued in your house inside your house to your tv or anything right. like that for socializing and uh you know we made a lot of a lot of friends just just through that just through that through that time you know i remember going and that those days you know we didn't have power for uh almost two months and i remember going to the river and washing my 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 clothes in the river Jesus. uh fucking using rocks to scrape you know uh like like to just rub it on, on the on the rocks with uh with this soap and everything just to, to get the stains out. And, and, uh, I mean, it was, it was super, super going back to the stone age type, you know, you would go to the river and collect water just to be able to, to flush the toilets. Um, you know, it was, uh, it was humbling, For humbling sure. to say the least. And, and that's, uh, what I have seen again in Puerto Rico, aside from all the, uh, people complaining about, you know, you, you go to, I mean, you go to the fucking, comments that people post and people can be pretty fucking vicious about Big how time. They, they feel like puerto ricans are are you know it's a welfare state and all we want is to, to have everything handed to us and everything like that everybody forgets that you know the, the the largest minority that's ever been drafted into every single fucking war going back to world war one has been puerto ricans so everybody forgets that we've actually put our little bit of you know of, of something towards you know helping the u.s also become what it is today you know, many Puerto Ricans died in World War One. Many Puerto Ricans died in World War Two. World War Two. Many Puerto Ricans have passed in every single fucking conflict: Korea, Vietnam, uh, Desert Storm, 
fucking all of these conflicts. Many, many, many Puerto Ricans have fought and lost their lives in these conflicts. And I can't believe how people so quickly forget that fact. Even people that were in the army, you know, they forget that that in the army they probably knew a couple of Rodriguez, a couple of Rivera, a couple of fucking, you know, uh, Colognes or whatever. You know, there, there's always the Martinez is the the there there there's there's a ton of them. There's hundreds of thousands of people from Puerto Rico that have also fought in wars, and people forget that. And I can't understand how people can be so mean to their fellow Americans. You know, it's a, it's a, you know, a, like, like you, you, you start getting a better understanding for how, you know, what it's like to be a, a, a second or even third tier citizen in, 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 in a country that support that you're supposed to call your nation that you, that you as a Puerto Rican, cause I'm super, I, I fucking had to register in that fucking selective service crap too. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was 18, yep. I had to do that bullshit. Yep, I remember that. <laughs> you know, I wasn't exempt from that because I was from Puerto Rico. Hell no. I had to do that. My exemption was breaking my neck. <laughs> 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 All right? Man. I, oh, here we go. Fuck, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to break my fucking neck so I don't have to go to war. Shit. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Okay. No nah, man, but but uh, what I you know what I I see this this whole whole bullshit that we're living right now, and I'm reminded very 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 hardcore of a fucking movie that I'm sure you've seen and remember. Fucking uh, remember President Hector? President Idi Hector, no, I idiocracy, bro. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it's motherfucker, man. I like. Like, e even President Hector in that movie had a little bit of common sense to listen to somebody who was smarter than he was, you know? Fucking Zeus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Terry Crews. I can't remember. Yeah. No, it was Zeus, wasn't it? No, it was, it was, I think it was Terry Crews. It was uh, Terry Crews. Zeus, yeah. Zeus was uh, the president in, in Fifth Element. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's horrible how idiocracy is so... They nailed it. Oh, God. So yeah, Mike, Mike Judge, man. Mike Judge, that motherfucker nailed it. And Wally. If you go back and watch that Disney movie, Wally, it's fucking pretty, pretty horrifying as well. Just the whole planet is, is trash, or, or we sent our, our trash to a different planet and made robots deal with it, and we're just sitting around on these floaty things that you hit a button and like you drink soda and watch shows, you know, kind of like Idiocracy is. Yeah, it's with, the, with the with the green water that has electrolytes. Right. <laughs> I don't know why the plants aren't growing. <laughs> I know it's, it's got just electrolytes. Like water. <laughs> and he's the smartest man on the planet. Ew. From the to like out of the toilet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the show, the number one show, is "Ouch My Balls." Ouch my balls! Yeah. It's oh my of god. Repeatedly kicking some other people in the balls. <laughs> and that's basically what you can find. Fucking just scrolling every day on the internet now. It's just filled yeah, with, with garbage, and soon with with technology the way it's going and Snapchat filters, soon I'll be able to make a video as the president talking, and he'll say whatever I want him to say, and we won't even be able to tell what's news and what's not, what's real exactly. and what's not, and it's a little fucking scary. And and that is 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 our big achievement as as our civilization right now is is a phone, is a satellite, is an electronic thing. You know, like that's our big achievement is. Is is Snapchat filters and shit like that, and that's yeah. that's that's not what a human human race is supposed to fucking do, man. That's why I'm a big believer that other civilizations, far like ancient civilizations, were a lot more advanced than we are. Well, you can't really. I mean, if 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 the universe is as big as 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 we know it is, you know, for starters, you know, and I start thinking about this all the time. If the universe is half as big as we believe it is, mm -hmm. then how can we? fucking assume that we're the only fucking life form in the entire universe when we don't even know what's out there. We don't even know what the fuck is in the bottom of the goddamn ocean. Exactly. What's out there. Of our own ocean. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's fucking crazy how, how naive, a uh, 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 people we have become that mm -hmm. we can allow any m moron to fucking, you know, uh, um, dictate how we are to think, how we are to act. Uh, I mean, you know, when, when, when you live in a country that idolizes the fucking Kardashians, the people from yep. fucking Jersey Shore, God damn it. Yep. I mean, I, re I remember, I mean, my IQ dropped just watching fucking commercials from these assholes 
<laughs> and, and, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, Jesus, you know, it's, 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 uh, if, if being talent or talentless is fucking hip now and fucking awesome, then why the fuck am I not rich? <laughs> Motherfucker, I should be, I should be fucking Bill Gates rich. I mean, fuck. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like I, 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 what do I do? I fucking watch boxing all the time, and I love fucking crime documentaries. I fucking right. love them. <laughs> that, that, that's what I, I'm, I'm. I should be fucking Bill Gates rich by now. I should be talking about. I'm gonna give away 99 percent of my fucking no net sense. worth, <laughs> right along with fucking Buffett and 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 uh, and and fucking what's his face, Bill Gates and Melinda Gates and all that shit. Then watch them all die and be like, psych! Yep, right. I didn't mean to fucking give you shit. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I swear, you know, this this is like the things that, that kids look look up to nowadays. Yeah. It's is uh, is insane. Like I you know, I even I, I even have gotten to 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 like LeBron James, who I fucking dis- have despised ever since he fucking <laughs> joined the league. Yeah. You, yeah. you know, and, and, it, and it really, it comes down to, you know, he's so goddamn good that I just don't want to hear his name being compared to Michael Jordan. I know. Uh, I so know. so I, I have a problem with that, but you know what? I mean, I got to admit, you know, watching the game and everything like that, I have to admit the motherfucker's talented. He's always been talented. He's, he's fucking clutch and, uh, and, you know, credit where credit's due. But, um, Anywho, um, I, I just okay. feel like, huh? So I was gonna say back on that argument. If you want to go there, you know, those two guys played in a in a different different era, much more physical era for Jordan, and he was a physical guard, dude, six foot six, yeah. two, two fucking thirty, yeah, pushing Come motherfuckers on. around, yeah, biggest guard in the league. He could have played he small was, forward, you know, like yeah, he was, even the yeah, option. He, the only dude that was taller than him that was a guard, well, there was Steve Smith, but he was he wasn't fucking nearly as good as Jordan was. And Magic and Magic yeah. is you know he but he, he played he only, small forward too. Yeah, you know, but oh, yeah. he was like six foot eight. He was fucking pretty tall. Fuck yeah. yeah! But but I don't know. I don't know if 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 LeBron could could be what I don't know. Maybe he could. I don't know. What do you think? Could could LeBron play? In in Jordan's era, could LeBron play in the previous era and still be as dominant? You know, I don't know. Like, because I feel like people feed him the ball. It's LeBron's team. It's LeBron's this. It's LeBron. Yeah. This. So obviously, that's like, boom. Go ahead, LeBron. Is it okay if I pass it? You know, like I, I feel. I don't know if he would have that same um, uh, gusto in a different generation. Yeah, I think honestly, you know, the the Golden State Warriors is the best example of how you know team playing still wins games. Yes, you know, so, so I mean, yep. I love it. Yeah, no, they they are they are the fucking. I mean, these people are the the kings at at, at finding the open man, and uh, and it's it. it's it's teamwork at its best, and 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 it, it, it had to happen with a guy that. <laughs> That that ran, you know, a very similar offense. Not necessarily uh, the identical. It's a triangle offense, but you know, it, he he's Steve Kerr, motherfucker. Yeah. Play, you know, played for the Bulls as well and during Michael yeah. Jordan's era. He he himself, you know, played some tough fucking basketball. And and it's not it's not hard to see the his evolution from having been a player for Phil Jackson's uh, Bulls and then you know evolving and you know becoming the Golden State Warriors fucking championship winning coach. So I mean, fuck. It's Dude, so it's awesome insane. to see the champion, the the top teams hitting record amounts of fucking three pointers. Because yeah. to me, the league went to went a different route, one that I wasn't, I didn't really identify with. It went a little too gangster for me, a little bit too one on one, a little bit too. Let me just, you know, oh, that was that uh, uh, Iverson days. You know, you know, I'm a fan of Iverson and shit, but it, you know, after. I don't know. I, I just I kind of fell off because it, it seemed it wasn't like this team team game anymore. It was very individualized. Yeah, you, know, well, you had you know in, in those days with Iverson, you had a uh, you had a uh, um, uh, Stoudemire, you had a uh, um, you had a uh, friggin' not a Mare. What was his name? Uh, oh, Damon like, Stoudemire. Damon Stoudemire. You had a yeah. uh, Stefan Marbury. You yeah. had a uh, you had a um, um, oh my god. Used to yeah, do Jason these Williams, Houston. kid, Chocolate. Jason Williams, yeah, no. uh, Stephen, uh, Stevie franchise, Steve Francis, fucking, yeah, Steve up. Francis, yeah, you know, so you had, you had all these, all these small guards that were that were scorers, you know, and 
and yeah. that's and that's you know what what made it to where the team became very individualized like that and and i guess you know in those days well you know somebody like lebron and fucking kobe thrived in those fucking days you know um, true true but but also it was still the eras when the fucking teams were the ones that won championships the houston rockets uh the the san antonio spurs you know uh, uh even even miami when they had lebron james in miami they had to build a team yeah. to be able to win the championship you know and, yep. uh, um you know they they that, the lakers of uh, during the shack days when they you know uh, they they had to build a team in, in la i mean it, it was it's all it's been always the the team the teams that with that that have that team mentality that actually end up winning the championship um he, fuck the Cavs. the only year they fucking won it was the other the other day when the fucking <laughs> Golden State Warriors let, let let the fucking series slip through their fucking fingers. Three but, one choke. But they had to become the the Cavs needed to become not LeBron's team but a fucking team. team. Yo, yo. You know. Now, now I'm I'm curious about the NBA. I'm excited about the NBA this this season with all these changes and shit. You know, with Melo in a in fucking OKC, Paul George over there, uh, Russell Westbrook, and I mean it's it's gonna be interesting to see that Western Conference. It's, really it's crazy to have all these super teams because as you were naming off um, players and shit, you know, it was like, or uh, that team that, 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 those teams that were built, could you imagine, you know, you had Wade and, and Bosch and LeBron. Could you imagine if Jordan and Bird and, and uh, Magic Johnson decided to go play for the fucking Celtics one year? You know, like, Fuck, that, that, that would have been, that would have been the, the fucking Barcelona dream exactly, team all over again. Exactly. They'd be plowing through teams, fucking 50 point leads and shit. You know, but they don't have the, you know, the, and those are the three best. Now we got a lot of guys that can like move around like that and make super teams, but still leave some teams left to like fight them, you know, mm-hmm. or compete against them. Back then, if you would have, you know, made one super team, they would have went eighty-two and zero. There would have been no one left around to fucking be able to compete. Oh yeah, hard man. Yeah, but back then too, there was a lot of loyalty. Loyalty. A lot of loyalty. You know, there, there was, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just yeah, don't, went, you know, just all these. There would have been a lot more, just a lot more fouls. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's weird to. It's, it's a debate that will live forever because if there's an answer, we'll never know. They'll never play in their primes. In, the, in a season, you know, I mean, there, there's no way that'll ever pan out, so we can never know. It'll always yeah. be a debate. Which yeah, is even cool. though those those simulations in NBA 2K18, right. they're, they're not accurate. <laughs> they're, but, they're not but, accurate at all. But bar none, Jordan versus anybody. Jordan is like the greatest of all time, bar none, because in my opinion, because of any of the three sports, uh, baseball, football, hockey, if you take a super athlete and move them out of their era, Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth isn't going to hit a fucking home run off of Randy Johnson's hundred and fucking. Hey, oh no. You know what I'm saying? His, his fucking you know pigeon saying? killing pitches. Right. Okay. And, and I don't know if Bart Stark is going to be able to, to fucking go against, you know, like Ray Lewis's defense of the fucking Ravens that year. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. You know, like, but, but, but the one person that you can pluck out of any, of his in his sport and pluck into any era is Jordan and he'll and he'll do it because he made he took any team to the championship man I don't know if you could put LeBron on a team with John Paxson Scotty Pippen sure but but let me give you John Paxson um I can't even name the power forward maybe maybe Stacey King Horace Grant Horace Grant there you go that's a talent that's a talent yeah um the center is going to be uh uh, my boy Cliff Levinson or or The ugliest shot in in the world is Bill Wennington. He's no, not, no, no, not Wennington. Not, Bill Cartwright or Bill Cartwright. Yeah, the yeah. ugliest shot in the, the fucking the windmill. Years. The fucking windmill wind <laughs> off the top. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> and with the with the bench, I can't even name. Dude, a bench yeah. I can't even name. And and I saw the bench on this super team right now that is all stars, all stars yeah. on, oh, yeah. this, on this fucking uh, Cavaliers team, right? I can name everybody on that team. I can't name this this and so that's an, another thing. Like you put LeBron in Jordan's shoes on that fucking on any one of those Bulls teams. I don't think they're going seventy two. Well, maybe seventy two and ten with with that one team that was good. But that's because they had Rodman and and a, a pretty deep bench. But yeah, see, that's that's what I 
like right now, if I were to put the, the Bulls of like say ninety, the second championship run, the right. Dennis Rodman, uh, Steve Kerr, uh, 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 Craig Hodges, yep. uh, you know Will Perdue, yep. uh, Luke Longley, Luke Tony Longley. Kukoc, yep. Tony, all of, if you put the ninety, what was it ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight Bulls, yep, the seventy two, and, and, and yeah. Yeah, exactly, if you had them play the the seventy three and nine. Golden State Warriors, I, I feel like the Golden State Warriors would have a hell of a time uh, stopping um, anybody. I, I mean, so. um, you know, you have you have Dennis Rodman covering down below. You know, the, uh, the Draymond Green ain't, ain't, is not going to be able to fucking stop Rodman. No, Rodman's going to get on his face. He's going to get on his face. The, Draymond Green's going to get teed out. <laughs> take, take it out of the game. That's going to be one gone. Uh, Sa- uh, Sasha Pachulia, or whatever his name is, their center, he can't fucking beat Luke Longley or or fucking any, even even Bill Wennington coming off the fucking bench. That dude was a fucking spark plug. Clutch. You know? yep, yeah. Yep. And and uh, he could shoot that 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 mid range <laughs> jumper. There's no way you know you got uh, Steve Curry, uh, Steph Curry. I mean, I, I guarantee you that they put Jordan on him. That's it. He ain't fucking scoring shit. He's not. He's eight inches it, taller. <laughs> exactly. You know, there, there's no way he's doing shit. You know, they would have to, to rely heavily, heavily on Kevin Durant. And the moment that you put fucking, you know, uh, 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 Scottie Pippen and fucking, you know, uh, Dennis Rodman to double up on fucking Durant, that, that's it. You know, they, they're going to disrupt their fucking, their fucking offense real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, not to say that, of course, you know, they wouldn't have a coach because Steve Kerr would be playing for that fucking team. So, they, you know, they, they wouldn't be able to execute their plays, you know. So, I mean, I, I just – do I think that the, the, the Warriors can beat them? You know what? They could. They, they have a really good team. But I, I still think that the, the Bulls from, the, from fucking 20 years ago could battle it out easily and go, go fucking toe-to-toe with ease over any of these cats. And, and, that's, and that's not even, you know, putting in that – say Scottie Pippen did his norm and scored his 19 points. And then you got Dennis Rodman grabbing 18 fucking rebounds and, yep. you know, Jordan getting his three fucking, his two or three steals in that game, yep. scoring, what, 40, 50 points. Yep. Um, and, and the rest of the team doing what they do, you know, uh, Kerr or, or Paxson or DJ Armstrong shooting from three like they did. Yep. Craig Hodges was fucking unstoppable. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck they would put on. Exactly. You know, they, they, they it, it's, it, it was, it was, it, it's, it's a different game. The Warriors are a little faster, but the Bulls are better defense defenders, so they would stop them. Mid-court, they would stop their offense. And, and I would feel like they would have a it, – it'd be a good matchup, though. It would be. be a, <clears throat> it would be. I'd, you know, you'd, you'd want to see it more than once. Yeah. Lucky Absolutely. for us, me and you have seen and witnessed both of this, what, you know, the two teams that we're talking about in this fantasy scenario. We've lived and seen them play – which is always fucking amazing. Is is lucky for us we got to see Jordan play. Lucky we got to witness Kobe's whole career. Lucky we've seen all of LeBron's career. Yeah. We have valid points here. I feel like the younger generation can watch highlights, but you know, lately I've been on a Jordan kick, so I've been watching some highlights and, and after a while you see the same highlights when you're on a YouTube kick. Mm-hmm. Back in the day you only had three videos, three VHS tapes with some Jordan highlights, so you didn't mind watching oh, yeah. the same ones over and over again. But yeah, you're, yeah. you're not watching full games. You know, you're not watching full games, watching this dude command the court, watching him just with ease over and over and over again, We're watching his defense, dude. His defense yeah. was amazing. And, and man, you know, even myself back in the day, I probably wasn't into watching the defense. I was younger, so I wanted to see dunks and flashy yeah. tongue and shit. Now, as an older yeah. adult, it's – it's amazing to watch this fucking defense. You know, being being the the super scorer and offensive fucking person. And that, that motherfucker, he could he read the fucking court so well that he would God. anticipate passes that you. God. I mean, you just, they would pass the ball if it was a fucking long pass. It's Ben one that motherfucking pass is not making it. Fuck yeah. Jordan was cutting right through. Fuck and, yeah, dude. And, and, and that was a dunk every time, every fucking time. He and. Was- and you know he goes. You'll watch him go up the court in these in a, in a highlight, and and you he he's walking up the court, and you can see his eyes just going back and forth, left, right, oh, yeah. left, right, and it looks like fucking Tom Brady or fucking Aaron Rodgers. You know, someone else at the top of their fucking game, just fucking zoning yeah. in the fucking zone, seeing oh, everything, yeah. all possibilities. 
Yeah, that's uh, Michael Jordan, man. The, yeah. the, the fucking the the Floyd Mayweather of 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 of, of the NBA. Fucking a. <laughs> Fuck, fucking like dude, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know Mayweather. Mayweather. I, I was I was a Mayweather hater. You know, and and this a and I must say, I, I, or a money hater. I, no, 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 I was a I was a pretty boy hater. Yeah, right. I actually didn't start. I I didn't start liking Floyd until he became money. Not because he had become money, but because by then I had watched boxing. You know, so so much. You know, and I remember, you know, when you used to come over to my place and watch boxing. And, all that shit. And, yep. you know, you watch the Miguel Cotto wars. There were bloody wars and everything like that. But very few times did you ever see somebody that was so defensively sound and, and somebody who would counter almost at will, you know, like, like, like Floyd was doing with these cats, you know. Um, and, 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 yes, you know, he, he changed his, his fighting style over the years and everything like that. And, and, and with more reason, you I have had to, to give him – I had to give him props for – because he kept – you know, he – he he is always about adapting and adapting. If something wasn't working, that he would adapt in, in the in the middle of the ring. And as his his uh, body was not allowing him to do certain things anymore, his style of fighting began adjusting. He got he got hit a little more than before, but his fights were entertaining. You know those uh, the two fights with Maidana were entertaining. Fuck that 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 fight with uh, with McGregor. That that fight was was you know entertaining from both from both sides. Me personally. I'm excited to see McGregor step into the fucking boxing ring again. Mm -hmm. and, and I didn't believe that at first. I, 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 I had it for sure that May, Mayweather was going to knock out McGregor in six rounds or less. No and I, and I, fe I felt like, I felt like, like uh, McGregor was going to come in strong the first two rounds. And I felt like McGregor was going to start holding back as, as he got tired. But by the fourth, fifth round, Mayweather was going to have him figured out. And he was going to start, you know, uh, landing hard shots, which he did. But McGregor fucking took him. McGregor, McGregor, uh, yeah, he would have, you know, what was he going to lose by a knockout? Absolutely. McGregor didn't have the legs under him after the 10th round. So it would have been a knockout regardless. But what I will say is that McGregor, with better conditioning, uh, he, he's, he's uh, I'm not going to say a threat to a lot of the 154-pound champions out there, but he would make a couple of interesting fights out there. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him fight Paul and Malinaji, and 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 and, <laughs> and, and, I, and the, the thing is that having seen what he did to Mayweather and the success that he was able to have in those first three rounds, that I I gave the first three rounds undoubtedly to fucking McGregor. Correct. Just, just his fucking jab was on point. Yep. His his jab was on fucking point. I loved it. I don't think I've ever seen a uh, uh, a person from a different discipline throw a jab that was so committed and so perfect in, in, in its execution. And, and I loved it. I fucking loved it. Um, I still feel like it, when it, because it's, he's limited in regards to his weapon arsenal, I think he still needs to learn how to, how to throw a few more combinations. But what I do see is that what, what he had said, and I believe that afterwards, after watching the fight, is that his style is so awkward that he had said that Mayweather wouldn't be able to know what he was going to do. And, and, and no, Mayweather didn't know what he was going to do, but he wasn't, he didn't seem concerned. He was just keeping his hands up and just walking forward. And, uh, but, but I, 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 I still felt like McGregor did not do the, the MMA world wrong, uh, in, in that fight. I, I feel like, like he did everybody proud. I feel like, like, uh, he sold the fight almost single handedly because Mayweather, Mayweather did talk, but I mean, when it came down to it, it was the ugly. battle, the the battle of the of the of the of the mouth was won clearly by McGregor. Yes, you know, um, you know that fucking dude. I mean, he he was so excited. <laughs> I can't, I can't fucking boner, the, fucking, the fucking boner in the way, and I can't get over that shit. It's like boner. what the fuck? <laughs> fucking it. But a million dollars coming. I got a big old exactly. Fuck, man. Hey, I wouldn't have given a fuck. I'd have flashed my dick out <laughs> there. Right, what, man? <laughs> Go ahead, chop it off tomorrow. I have a new dick. I guarantee you, motherfucker. What do you think next for him? Legitly, what do you think's next? Next, you think Nate boxing? Diaz. No, yeah, you think so? Nate Diaz. Yeah, I mean, I, that that I, for me, I feel like that's that's they owe it to at least they owe it to Nate. Not necessarily to to McGregor. I feel like they owe it to Nate. I feel like they they should do that, but 
man, you know, McGregor don't taste that that boxing money. Oh, man, <laughs> McGregor, McGregor got paid man. handsomely. Yeah, you know, granted, yeah, they they know White and the UFC made a shit ton of money out of out of his purse. I I seriously doubt if McGregor broke uh, sixty million dollars. But I mean, hey, thirty million, <laughs> thirty million yeah. was 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 ten times more than he had ever made. You know, so yeah. phew, shit. You know, that's that's retirement money right there. Yeah. Yeah, and and you don't have to worry about getting your your legs snapped in half or your exactly. arm like exactly. broken. You know, I mean, you can just focus on some face and chest and arm work there. You know. Yeah. No, yeah. he he uh, he did everything perfect. I think he he needed what he de- definitely needed was a he needed a better striking coach. He needed a, a coach that uh that that could teach him some some that could take him back to his early boxing days when he first started out boxing in, in ireland and everything like that he, he needed to be taken back to those days he needed a boxing coach the rest of the team that he had in place obviously great they needed a, a, an additional a, a, an addition in there and uh and obviously malinaji wasn't it no i think he you was know? in there just for i don't, I don't want to call it a pr stunt but i feel like they wanted from what I hear, Malinaji basically came off of the fucking the airplane, the flight over, and was driven. Yeah, and they 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 geared him, they, they geared went, him up, and yeah, yeah, went into the UFC gym. Yeah, they wanted basically Connor's confidence at an all time high to feel like he just whooped the shit out of a, a former champ or a, a champ, former champ, you know? yeah, and two yeah. division champ at that. Malinaji was no, you know, Malinaji was no slouch, you know, in his fighting right. days. But he was um, probably fucking just chilling and then gets this call and he's like, well, fuck yeah, I'll go. And, you know, it's not like he was fucking tip top shape, fucking still, you know, training for a fight of his own maybe or something like that. You know, that kind of conditioning where McGregor was, you know, and then you want to spar with someone who's a fucking animal right yeah. now who's peaking. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, no shit. No, and, and really buy that. Even now, I still think I still think that the, that uh that the knockdowns were legit. I mean, Malinaji did show yeah. from sparring alone, did show some clear markings on his face. Um, so I did, I do think that the, that the sparring went closer to what, the, to the way the McGregor team described it as opposed to the way he tried justifying <laughs> it. Um, I, I feel like, like if, if uh, Malinaji were to fight McGregor, which I would like to see, because I know for a fact, number one, Malinaji is not the A side. The A side would be McGregor. McGregor would dictate the terms. The fight would be at 154. Malinaji can afford to, to put on those few extra pounds and go to 154 and fight him at 154. I also feel like uh, they should use 10 ounce gloves. It shouldn't be on eight ounce gloves. Otherwise, Malinaji is going to get killed. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and, and I feel like Malinaji's mistake is going to, he's going to try to go in there and try to outbox uh, McGregor. Which I, I do believe that Malinaji can do that, but the problem is that Malinaji doesn't have power. He doesn't have a whole lot of pop. So yeah. you, you got a you got a guy that can take your punches. Um, you know that 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 he, if he knows that you you can't knock him out, he, he's gonna go in there with all the confidence in the world and, and try to fucking you know take take your head off. And uh, and I feel like that's what's going to happen. You know, Malinaji might, might have a, a little bit of success early on, you know, with his hand speed, but eventually uh, McGregor's going to time him with a left hand and, and uh, McGregor's going to finish him. I don't I know feel if like the gonna... timing's right. Hmm? I don't know if the timing's right for McGregor and Malinaji to go at it right after he just fought Floyd because I don't know, I don't know if that sells as hard. Well, they can't there's... really, they can't really wait too long because uh, if they let, that they can't let let that um that um, fire that that that, that correct that they uh, that that fire that's that's under them right now they can't allow that to to get put out you know they well, need to well there's it could come back though you know I mean say say it gets put on the back burner uh, McGregor Diaz three happens McGregor wins mm-hmm. um he has to defend oh you know what he's got to defend against El Kakui. One way or another, he's got to fight against Tony Ferguson because Ferguson now has the interim belt. True, true, and that's so, how that's that's how that's how it should be. If you're the interim champ, yeah, you've got a one. You way should have. To the you have. To, you should. That's not what happens in fucking boxing. That's what Just, pisses me off, man. No shit. Yeah, and in, in boxing, you have way too many divisions. Yeah, you have way too many. Like the WBA has been known to at times have three championships in one weight class. They'll have the interim, the regular, and the super champion. 
Yeah, come on. And and and, and all three are considered world champions. But but it's like okay, so am I just supposed to think that you know that that totally decimates the accomplishment of the guy that became the world champion? Exactly. So I, I feel like they should only there should only be one champion, and that's it. Now, if you want to make it like the WBC does, where they have a silver belt and a and a and a gold belt, there you go. Then then so be it. Then you know the the silver belt holder gets the first dibs at the fucking champion of the of the gold belt. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? And that and that's how it should be. And then the then the number the number three and number four spot, they fight for the fucking silver belt after after the other guy loses or wins or whatever. Okay. You know? So that's that's how I think they should be. I, I feel like like every every step of the way they, these the the rankings should should count for something. It shouldn't be to where you pay enough money and you all of a sudden you're automatically ranked <laughs> by some fucking Mm-hmm. You know, hoo ha organization from mm-hmm. from the fucking Pan Asian conference or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, say say he, so he has to fight Kakui to to yeah. to do those. So he let's say he beats Kakui, um, fights Diaz after that in the next show a couple months later, a big show. Yeah, and then um, there's no one. There's no one out there. There's someone, Justin Gaethje or something. He he. They're trying to push him. He's a, he's a coach right now. He's gonna fight Eddie Alvarez. If he decimates him and continues the streak, there might be something there. But right now, it's those two fights. If he destroys Kakui, then fights Diaz, win or loss, then Paul Maldonado can come in. Yeah. And be like, hey, you motherfucker. You know, it, it, I feel like he's got to time it right because right now, I think El Kakui, Tony Ferguson, he's. This is a real deal. Fight. This is his fight right now. He wants it. He's putting out the promos, the words, you know, laying down the gauntlet, you know, the line in the sand for McGregor right now. Yeah. Already, both him and Kevin Lee both had promos ready to, you know, to rip at Conor McGregor when they won. They had something planned for sure because they want to get paid too. But I mean, I feel like myself as a UFC fan, I, I would not be excited to watch Conor McGregor box again yet. I want to see yeah. him fight again in, in back home in the octagon, do his thing, get me fucking pumped back up, doing his thing, and, and, and riding the McGregor fucking train, and then let him well, dip back out. Te- technically, he has to go back to MMA because, number one, you know, he, 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 uh, there's really nobody in boxing that he could fight right now. True. No, nobody. I mean, there's nobody that would create the interest. That, like, the only fighter that would create any kind of interest right now would be be Canelo Alvarez. That would be the only fighter that that would help Conor McGregor build, build up some sort of an event that to where they can sell, you know, something like a million five pay per views. Easily, they would do a million five. Him and Canelo would fucking do easily two two and a half million pay per views. I believe, but you. that's a, that's a dangerous fight for Canelo. Right, very dangerous fight. I mean, not for Canelo, for for for, Conor. for both actually. For honestly, for <laughs> both, for both. But but Canelo. I, I find that he'd be the, the more skilled boxer, and Canelo hits fucking hard, you know. So, I mean, that that'd be a, the, the battle of the fucking redheads right there, <laughs> fucking. But but uh, see, for that one, they can let that one marinate. Mm-hmm. They can let that one marinate because Canelo is twenty seven, twenty eight years old. Uh, uh, fucking McGregor's twenty nine, so they can wait two years for that one to marinate, mm-hmm. and then bring Conor Conor back into boxing, and boom. Another thirty mil pay, pay uh, you know, uh, uh, paycheck. Boom, out. Um, I think he needs to stick with uh, UFC right now. Um, I, there's I, there's I, challenges there, like you said. You know, Kukui, they got they, you got you still got Nate Diaz making all kinds of noise in the background and whatnot. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's 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 lucrative fights with with MMA money. They're, they're right now, any any if he fights Malinaji, he's not gonna make you know the five mil that he could possibly be because right now the the Mayweather fight made it to where now he's he he's gonna demand more money. Yes, from the UFC. Yeah. So his next fight, whatever he whoever he fights, he's gonna make you know between five and seven million dollars. Easily, you know that, that that ain't gonna be no no chunk change for him anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, and and in 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 that same way, if he fights Diaz, Diaz is gonna get paid very handsomely because they've already yep. fought before. They have a history. They know that fight sells. With the other guy, the other guy is just an, uh, not necessarily an up and coming. He's an interim champion, uh, Kukui. But 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 I mean, Ferguson is is a, uh, um, it's just not not somebody that 
that the the casual fan, unless you're a hardcore USC fan, kind of like 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 I can throw a couple of names out there. You're not gonna know who the fuck they are if I throw a couple of names in boxing, but and you do the same with with MMA. Right. It, 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 there's not that that crossover uh, um, appeal. Right. That that, Mc, that McGregor brought with with Mayweather. Mm-hmm. Um, but right, man, he needs to stick to stick with UFC. Make another. 14, 15 million dollars out of the next two fights, and then explore the idea of possibly fighting Canelo Alvarez, and then fucking with that, go out and fucking and fucking drag your ass into the sunset, you know, with with, with, <laughs> yeah. with another fucking ginormous yeah. paycheck, yeah, uh, uh, um, because that that would be it for him. That would be the the pinnacle of it. But again, he would need to win because the only way yes. to keep that flame lit. For a possible, you know, eventual comeback in the boxing against another top fighter, the only way that would happen would be if if he were to win against uh, Diaz and 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 what's his face and you know in succession. Correct. Yeah, I don't think or, or whatever order. fights is going to help. I mean, he can lose and still be and maintain his momentum as just like he lost to Diaz, you know, and, and to fucking Mayweather and neither of those losses have hurt his momentum at all. But that's because, you know, they were both special operatives, both correct special things. Uh, you know, Diaz that they offered a rematch there to let him regain that back, you know, and, and then you don't lose any fans going out of your sport to fucking try to take on the best in the game. And and he gained nothing but respect. Fucking, that, that's the thing. Everybody, everybody f- felt the same way as I did. Everybody within the boxing community just felt like, you know what? Uh, what's uh, McGregor's gonna is gonna look good for two rounds, and then Mayweather's <laughs> gonna take him apart. That was the consensus. The mm-hmm. consensus was that 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 for the most part, you talk to anybody, anybody, anybody was guessing that he wouldn't last eight rounds. That was uh, the consensus was Mayweather by knockout in eight rounds or less. Mm-hmm. And and I was one of those. I I. I wrote it down. It was a six-round knockout for Mayweather. That's what I predicted. Um, yes, it was a knockout. Yes, it was Mayweather. It was just four rounds later. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, and, and even even after that, that you know, when, when he started looking tired, he still had the, the, the balls and the heart to stay in the fight and oh, keep yeah. throwing, you know, albeit slow, you know, <laughs> like, like it reminded me of the $6 million man, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but but you know it's it was it was he died and i have got to give it to him he fucking sold that fight fucking Mayweather. i mean mcgregor is a goddamn fucking showman dude you have to admire that yeah, that, that press tour was amazing dude he's got his own movie coming out universal pictures he? he's got his own movie to be able to go to the theaters and watch the life of his rise to fame because you know less than four years ago he was on fucking ireland like their version of fucking like government aid welfare yeah yeah i mean they show the checks mr conor mcgregor fucking debt you know it's crazy yeah. you know and just the belief and i remember when i first saw him he was fucking fighting like diego brandau or something it was just some random shit and uh, they did a little pre-fight interview with this guy with his hair all braided up and pulled back in a ponytail talking yeah. about the mcgregor clan doing battle on the war and how he was or doing battle on the uh battlefield you know and how he gets to do it in the ring and shit. And he was all jacked up. And I was like, dude, this guy looks all right. You know, and he came out and dismantled the motherfucker. And I was like, all right. Oh so yeah. When he fought, when, I, I know when he fought Eddie, Eddie Alvarez, motherfucker. Jeez. That's that. I did not know. Not, not Eddie. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, was Aldo? It Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo. Yeah. yeah when when he, he fought Jose Aldo and clocked him with that little ass fucking <laughs> short fucking left hand. Just boop, and pulled back. And fucking Aldo just got went. You know, he got God. folded. I was like, holy fuck. God, dude. Uh, he made me a believer then. 13. But again, again, boxing being a different discipline and everything like that. Mm. I, I totally, you know, started getting flashbacks of Jordan playing with the fucking White Sox, you know, minor league <laughs> team, you know. that That's what I was thinking, you know. Okay, yeah. so you're the top dog in your sport. You're going to go out of your way. But I had to give it to him that he... You know, a lot of people won't do that out of fear that they'll look horrendous. And yep. he didn't disappoint. Yep. He he fucking looked great, man. I mean, for as long as it lasted, you know, I feel like because he didn't have that chance that other fighters have, that they they have a, a they can build up. You know, they they start out as four rounders and then six rounders and eight rounders, and he right. graduated to the ten rounders. 
And then you go into the championship fights, which are 12 rounds. You know, they have that buildup to get to that point. McGregor just fucking went in, right in there, you know. <laughs> and, and it was like, holy shit, dude. That's and a good I guess, point. I didn't yeah. think about that. That's a really good point from a non-boxing person. Good thinking. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, he didn't have that. He just went in straight for 12 rounds. And not just, again, we're not talking about he fucking started fighting Mr. Fucking John Smith, the, the cab driver from fucking Toledo, Ohio. This motherfucker was fighting Floyd Mayweather, you know, the number one pound for pound fighter in the world who had just two years prior retired. And, and, and who was a fucking gym rat who stays in the fucking gym all the time. You know, this guy was in fucking shape, you know? Yep. yep. I mean, man. The, the May, May, Mayweather is 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 uh he's he's just uh, a different a different type of, of a fucking animal you know it's he's just different. But McGregor yeah. definitely proved me that uh that uh that this needs to happen more often and this 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 uh, uh thing that May, McGregor w- will will have started and I fully believe that he's gonna start this trend of of either boxers becoming MMA stars or MMA stars going in the and delving into boxing. I, I totally see that. If you think about it, like there's already people from from both sides of the spectrum who, at one point or another, you know, they, who people don't even fucking know. Like, if you look at uh at at, at uh, the Klitschko brothers, you know, Vitali Klitschko. Vitali Klitschko was a fucking uh, a K1 kickboxer, oh, world champion. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. You know, yeah, that was before he fucking he, but before he became a professional boxer. Uh, you got um. Fucking uh, um oh my god! Just a couple of years ago, this guy um I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I, I remember it. Um, this kid from New York, he was a undefeated ISKA world karate champion, and then he took up boxing and eventually ended up becoming a world champion in boxing himself. You know, he was undefeated in in karate and 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 was undefeated for for quite a while in in boxing. I think of his name. Uh, I can't remember his name right now. He fought a uh, Pacquiao and shit. Um, I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I'll, I'll think about it. I, um, actually, let me let me lean forward here right. to my laptop and look it up. <laughs> but uh, but I mean, Andre Berto. I don't know if you know who that is. No, Andre Berto. He's he's a uh, he's he's from uh from Miami, Florida, and uh, this guy Berto, um, his family, they're all in the in the like MMA. I, I if, if I'm not, I'm almost positive he's got a, a brother was a full-time MMA fighter. Yeah, I don't recognize um, the last name. Uh, Zab, Zab Judah, he, his him. dad was an MMA coach, and and uh, and uh, he has a, a, a brother that, who was also in, in mixed martial arts uh, who had a, a, a semi-good career when, you know, before the UFC blew up. Um, I know it's kind of like the opposite as far as, like, um, I know a lot of females – you know, female boxing champions like Holly Holm, she was like a fucking 11 time fucking champion. Yeah. Whatever fucking organization she was in. And yeah. That was, that was before the, the female, the females uh, started making a name for themselves. And right. Right. And they, they didn't, didn't have a yep. platform to fucking be shown, you know, and actually make, like, you know, some, some more money and shit like that. So, she comes over and nobody knows really much about her except what Joe Rogan's saying as she's walking to the fucking ring. You know, he's like, yeah. well, shit, she's a champ here, a 14 time this, that, and this, you know? And, and, and she had already been also, she was, she was, she was a, a, a fucking black belt in God knows what before, right. you know, when she was a kid. Right. Yeah. You know, before she yeah. started going into boxing. And so. then she picks up MMA. So she's completely coachable because she's a champion. She's correct. You know, completely coachable. And, and it took her a year and a half to get into the fucking fight with Ron and, the kick her around the world. She fucking blasted her and fucking yeah. Andy Rousey's fucking reign. And, and, and she was and she was undefeated herself too. Like she was already yeah. plowing through people, but because yeah. she was she was you know she was Holly Holm. Nobody knew who she was, so yeah. she didn't get a whole lot of uh she didn't get a whole lot of anything until uh until uh um she uh she fought uh, Ronda Rousey. And then and, the same and, thing happened with uh the women's division, the one twenty five division that was created. For, and 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 the champion was crowned at the end of an ultimate fucking fighter season, right? So the these yeah. girls, they they do a tournament, and then six months later, as Carla Esparza versus somebody else, I can't remember, Esparza wins it, and I was like, all right, she's cool. Like I don't know anything else about any one twenty five 
uh, MMA women fighters except basically what I saw on Ultimate Fighter. So then her next right. fight is against some fucking Polish chick who is a fucking kickboxing like undefeated champion named Joanna Jacek. Yeah, he beats the living shit out of Carla Esparza and has yeah. been a champion ever since, dude. That chick is fucking amazing. I yeah, she her. is fucking. She's a uh, uh, she's very uh, high energy man, <laughs> man. <laughs> Ooh, boy. The, she's, she's almost like a female McGregor when it comes to like the stare downs and the and the shit. Like she she has some oh, yeah. psychological shit. Oh yeah, That's oh so yeah. Her and awesome. Her and uh, what's that other chick? Uh, Korea. Holy it's shit. Korea. Yeah, there's some fucking mean Jesus, chicks. Jesus, that's fucking, some mean chicks, man. You got Cyborg and, and, and fucking uh, Yesha yeah. Jacek fights Thug Rose Namajunas next month. That's going to be a fucking great fight, man. Fuck yeah. Great Hell fight. Yeah. And those are my two favorite chick fighters. I've, I've, I've thought Rose was amazing ever since I saw her on Ultimate Fighter and then followed her. She trains out of, of uh, Duke Rufus for a while with Pat Barry oh, really? and him. They're like either engaged or married now, but they're out in fucking um, out at Jackson's camp now. And they train out there and, and do traveling seminars and shit as a couple, her and Pat Barry. But um, so fucking was always into her and have been a Yesha Jacek fan ever since I threw her, saw her throw her first punch. And now they're fighting each other. And and for me, that's up like, uh, like emotions that were stirring when Connor and Nate first stepped in the ring. Cause those are my two fucking favorite, dude fighters and here yeah. they, it's so hard to choose like one of how do you root for somebody correct you, you want to see both of them win you don't want to see either one of them lose but but thank goodness both of the the nate diaz and conor mcgregor fights they were both great fights to watch in the long run you know they they panned out and none of them were like controversial or fucking stupid or something you know they all panned out so Yep. So hopefully this upcoming card man there's fucking three title fights on November 4th it's fucking uh, Joanna Champion fights Rose and fucking uh, Cody Garbrandt fights TJ Dillashaw and fucking that's going to be an amazing fight. They've been going head to head. Hell yeah. yeah. They they fucking hate each other. They got camp beef, like camp wars, you know. <laughs> and uh, there's a whole history with Uriah Faber and TJ Dillashaw. And now that that's Cody's camp, you know, he's basically has picked it back up and and then on top of that, after that fight happens, you got fucking George St. Pierre stepping in the ring against Michael yeah. Bisping for the fucking champion. Yeah, I, 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 want, I want to see that. But that, when, when is the George St. Pierre fight? That is November 4th. There's three title fights on the same fucking card because they're going to be in New I'm going to delay, I'm gonna have to, to wait until the fucking six to leave then. <laughs> I'm serious, dude. I'm not going to be able to watch fucking anything. And, and you're telling me that there's going to be those right. fucking fights. No, because I, I knew they were fighting. I just didn't know when. Motherfucker. No shit. Anyways, yeah. um, yeah. oh, I found that the I found the dude. His name is Chris Algieri. Ah, the name Christopher. Yeah, sort of. Familiar. Yeah, he fought. Um, he fought uh, Amir Khan. He fought Manny Pacquiao. I know. Uh, I mean, names. yeah. It says here. Uh, he said uh, he never fought as an amateur because he was uh, he was a uh, as an amateur boxer. He went straight from being a professional uh, uh, kickboxing champion into boxing. He says, okay. Never fought as an amateur. Converted to professional boxing after retiring from professional kickboxing with a 20 and 0 record. Jeez. Says undefeated world kickboxing champion with a 20 and 0 record at welterweight and super welterweight in the in the WKA and ISKA. Um, so yeah, so I mean, it, you got um, uh, uh, so Andre Berto, the guy I was telling you about, he was uh, he was a rest. He, his background is in in uh, MMA because of his family and whatnot, but he actually was a wrestler uh, in in high school. Uh, Kermit Cintron, who was a, a welterweight champion from Puerto Rico, his background was in wrestling as well. Um, you got a lot of people from boxing who already have the boxing skill, but are, are very trainable in MMA because they already have that that other side of the of the game. They just need to evolve and, and add a couple more tools to their you know to their to their uh, arsenal, I guess. Their, yep, yep. But I mean, these, these people. You know, right, right now I feel like right now is 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 good for the, for females to just make the jump because uh, they it, like you know it's like you said they weren't making a whole lot of money in in boxing. You got Amanda Serrano, the the Puerto Rican champion, who's the only Puerto Rican male or female to win titles in five different weight classes. Jesus, you know, yeah, th and she did it like the the unconventional way. Like he he <laughs> she went she went and fought um. Uh, she went and fought um, 
uh, I don't know whoever it was, at, at 140, won her first championship at 140 pounds, then dropped to 135 and beat the champion at 135, becoming a two-division world champion. Then dropped down to 130, became the champion at 130 pounds, uh, and then went and fought at 126. Let me see. No, she's she's won belts. She won belts at 135, 130, 126, 122, and 118 in that order. Oh, went down way. Yeah. Huh? Dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how that's how she won her fucking belts. Now she's she's a current champion at 118 pounds, but she's in talks to fight this uh, this <laughs> other chick at 147 pounds. No, at 140 pounds. I'm sorry. She's look, looking to jump to 140 again to to go for for a sixth Same. world champion in a six different weight class. What is a 118 pounder like a super fly pencil weight or what the fuck? No, no, no. Boxing, see, boxing. Uh, that's something that I that I need to confer with you on because I don't know exactly how the weight classes work work in in MMA. But like, you have minimum weight in boxing is 105 pounds. Oh my god! For male yeah. and female. For male and female, yeah, that's Damn. 105 pounds is 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 like the m- minimum weight, and then um, our minimum is 125. That's Mighty Mouse Johnson and fucking uh, yeah. oh shit, they got 115 for girls though. I don't think they got a straw weight for for men's yet. Probably they got, not. They got a 115 for for girls. Yeah, they have. Let me see. Okay, so from 105, no if you from 105, you go up to 108. Which is uh, junior flyweight. Jesus. Uh, then from 108, you go to 112, which is the flyweight division. 115 is super flyweight. 118 is bantamweight. Um, 122 is super bantamweight. 126 is featherweight. Super featherweight is 130. 135 is lightweight. Super lightweight at 140. 147 is welterweight. 154 super welter, 160 is middleweight, 168 super middleweight. Uh, then from 168 you go to 175. That's light heavyweight. Then you go up to the next division is at uh, is a, a maximum of 200, 200 pounds is cruiserweight, and then after 200 pounds is the heavyweight division, which is uh, limitless. Really, it's regarding, just regarding the Daddy symbol, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. If there's a fucking you. You, you got to cut weight. You got to make 265 max. Like Brock Lesnar has to cut weight to be. Oh yeah, because because there, there's because there's yeah because there's a super heavyweight division in fucking. Yeah, you're right. Damn. Yeah, they got, they got the super heavyweight and and that it wasn't a uh, what's his name? Uh, oh my god. This there's this this uh, one of the Silvas, but this is. Uh, oh, Bigfoot. He, he's yeah. There you go. Yeah, he looks like a like like he's got a forehead like Ram Man. And, yeah, yeah, and, he uh, has a gigantism <laughs> actually. <laughs> he, he, he does. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure. I didn't know. I know he's got a forehead that he has these huge feet and these huge. Yeah, hands, yeah, man, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdo <laughs> looking chest. Woo, boy, that, yeah, that dude is super. I mean, that is a fucking. That is, I mean, because I, I, I like I, I didn't. How tall is he, anyways? He's like six four, six five, right? Yeah, he's he's not. You know, yeah, six four, six five, not like six eight or six nine or nothing, but yeah, well, but, he's fucking humongous though. Like he's but, a, he's a super heavyweight. No, no, he's not. No, there's he's no, not. There isn't. There isn't a super heavyweight in UFC. It's just heavyweight. And it's, oh, it's just heavyweight, but they yeah. have to they have to be under two sixty two, huh? Correct. Yeah, there isn't a super heavyweight in in the division or in the uh, in the organization. Yeah, for sure. God damn. Yeah, Jesus. so a lot of those guys have to cut weight to make one to make the two sixty five minimum, man. Or yeah, man. no, I know, I know, I knew Brock had said uh, something about you know his his workouts were mm-hmm. so insane that he could burn off twelve pounds in one fucking workout. Just I'm like, God, water. Damn. Yep. yeah, yeah, yep. But Jesus. you know, the uh, athletic commissions or somebody has recently um, reformed the divisions, and they're I don't know the 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 fucking exact facts here but it's to the tune of now um ufc has the ability to go every 10 pounds like because ufc goes 125 135 155 or no 145 155 and then it jumps to 170 so we're missing like elusive 165 champ Mm -hmm. and now 
like the athletic commissions or some have instituted like the 165 is is something in MMA and they're they're and also like um um also you go from 185 to 205 there's no 195 chance or 195 weight division so the UFC is strongly looking into the 165 and the 195 weight classes to add which would give them i think 10 total weight classes then for for guys and and uh three different weight classes for women total which yeah, is that crazy be, that, you know that's be, a lot of titles you know everybody's a champ that's kind of weird but i mean you're the champ of your weight and and what that can what can that can do is is you don't you won't have guy. You'll have guys um, hopefully fighting more close to their original weight and not yeah. so much since there'll yeah. be more divisions to fight at. You won't have to drop twenty fucking pounds. Yeah, exactly. You know, and then that maybe they can add some longevity to their fucking career because you're you know you're draining yourself so fucking. Yeah, hard. yeah. That 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 cutting weight is so fucking drastic. Like somebody mm-hmm. like McGregor, for instance. I know that he's got he's got to cut massive massive weight. Um, yeah, when he made that 145, he looks like a different dude. I mean, he looks so gaunt and and unhealthy. Yeah, and no, I he looks just like a skeleton with tattoos on him, man. It's weird. and that's and 145 in, in MMA is is what weight is that lightweight or what? Lightweight is 155, so I think one Ooh, so yeah featherweight featherweight champ of the world. Yep, 145. Jeez. And then lightweight in in MMA is one 160. Is that? Lightweight is 155, 155, which is he is the current champ now because he vacated the 145 after he, he, can't, he can't make it anymore. Yeah, yeah, he said, Fuck Shit. doing that, man. I don't need to do that. That was for well, the did story. You see? He looked fucking ripped Dude, for, the Mag- for the Mayweather fight. Jack. Holy shit. Yeah, he, I was like, How the fuck can he make any less weight than that? <laughs> I, know, I know that is insane. That is inhumane. Yeah, fuck. yeah, man. Just <laughs> jacked. I, I took a picture of that and superimposed my head on it. <laughs> 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 like what? Yeah. This dude's looking Photo- Photoshop. Yeah. Right, <laughs> <laughs> you know okay. now, fucking uh, Vince McMahon's fucking. There's there's talks there too that he's fucking dipping into his wallet and and showing McGregor how much money he's got. Ooh. There's talks to bring him over for, uh, for a geez. WrestleMania appearance. You well, know, fucking there's, there's, Mayweather, Mayweather, not like punched Big Show for twenty million dollars. <laughs> Fuck. Knocked out Big Show. <laughs> twenty million for that little act right there. Mayweather made twenty million dollars. We can believe that shit. Man, that, that is crazy. Man, that motherfucker made more for that little show right there than most, uh, you know, participants made in in WrestleMania per Correct. se. Correct, a hundred percent. Yep, that's it, man. That's the the biggest fan base that will pay the biggest fan base in marketing is, is that 25 to 35 year old male. Cause they got expendable cash and they ain't scared to pay for, you know, pay for shit. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why they got, man, they make fucking money hand over fucking fist, man. Oh yeah. And shit. I wouldn't mind, you know, as long as the storyline's built right, I'll, I'll watch it. You know, I'd watch a fucking little wrestling, you know, especially if, if the rock wants to come back and talk some shit, you know, with McGregor. Or something. I know that would be amazing, but it has to be oh, yeah. done right, you know, and they I don't think they would do it if it wasn't done right, you know. They wouldn't yeah. pay the money and, and put on some sort of stupid no, thing, if, you know? if if there's something that, that I that I gotta give McMahon some credit for is he built a hell of a fucking organization. Man. And you know, and, and he fucking he went through hell and and fucking high water with that with the whole fucking scandals with steroids and all that shit, but you know, he managed to, to to at least make everybody look clean, maybe yeah. they're not. <laughs> but uh, he made everybody look clean, and and you know he he's done some. I mean, the whole thing with the with the the, the Hall of Fame genius, yeah, genius. You definitely. know, like, bring bring back bring it brings back the old fans and gets them tuned into the yep. uh, it gets them tuned into the newer you know the the, the newer fan base. You know, yep. It's uh, it's uh, it's it's uh, it's pretty pretty cool, man. The way dude has been building that. From I mean, from my days of watching fucking Ken Patera and Bruno <laughs> San Martino and fucking the only Puerto Rican fucking wrestler that I can remember in those days was Pedro Morales. Jesus, and Christ. fucking and they had uh, they had fucking Tito Tito. Uh, Santana? Oh my God, what was his name? Tito Santana. Tito Santana. Yeah, arriba! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, fucking Tito Santana. Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, Hell yeah. fucking. 
George the Animal Steel, Junkyard yeah. Dog. Uh, JYD. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I can I can go on fucking naming old school wrestlers all but, fucking day. Yeah, you know, my era Jesus. when I was really, really into it was the attitude era with the NWO and shit like that and you know, fucking Oh shit, yeah. Hollywood Hulk Hogan and shit, but yeah, that's Razor awesome. Ramon and it's, it's pre-internet. Kevin Nash. Man. It's all pre-internet, so you can't yep. get that information at, at the tip, you know, on your phone immediately. So it's like, man, Monday night's coming up, bros. After school, we're doing our thing, and then at seven o'clock, Monday Nitro is going to yep. be for three fucking hours. Man. Hours, yeah. Three <laughs> hours of wrestling, and then, and then, it would break for like an hour of news. And then it would replay three more hours of the yep. of, of the replay of Monday night, <laughs> and so it was so oh, yeah, dope, cool. man. God, it was so dope, you know. And then at the next day at school, we'd all talk about wrestling and shit like that because that was the comments. Yep. Now nowadays it's the comment section, but back then we would all gather and talk and you yeah, know, and talk, man. Yeah, I remember was, the, it the wasn't the fucking uh, Bill Goldberg came out. He fought this dude named Hugh Morris. Humorous, what a cool play on words. Yeah. And this, he fought, he came out, and then then his opponent was some dude named Bill Goldberg who came out in black fucking underwear and some gloves, and you know beat the shit out of him and didn't say a fucking word. And I remember the next day at school, still remember the next day at school, all of us gathered around talking about Bill Goldberg. What's this motherfucker? You know, and just yeah, just, Goldberg. Yeah, I, man, this shit was so fucking fun, so fucking fun. You know, just uh, we're like all kind of connected to that same thing and shit, and kind of being part of that and, and just. I don't know. I, I, I'm sure it's that way with wrestling now and fans now, but myself, I have a hard time kind of reconnecting. I, I have tried to watch SummerSlam. I watch WrestleMania when it pops up. Um, but since I don't have all the backstories of all the characters and why the fuck they look as weird as the fuck they do or why the fuck they're doing these weird actions, it's hard to fucking yeah. understand it, you know, and, and, and it's a little goofy, you know, so... I yeah. see why it gets so much hate, and it's unfortunate. But I mean, if if you can just understand, they know that they know they're, it's entertainment. It's fucking yeah. entertainment. They're not. They, we're, we're done past the days of trying to like fake that and try to like you know, oh, this is real. Like we understand, you know. So yeah. let, them, let the fucking show play out, man. Why? Why? Do, I don't understand why people gotta hate so bad. I don't know. It's uh, you know, it, it's it's uh, I don't know. I call it the the the, the Christmas syndrome. You know, you have your 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 people who are very high on their on their Bible codes and everything like that, and they refuse to celebrate Christmas as a you know Santa Claus thing. You know, no, no, it's this this Jesus' birthday, and they and they'll even tell their their, their kids that yep that Santa Claus doesn't exist or anything like that, and kind of ruins it for them. But you know, it's like you know, I I my dad knew that wrestling wasn't real, but he still took me to wrestling matches and shit. You know, he still wanted me to to watch it, and it was cool. You know, he. he he wasn't. He wasn't promoting or condoning a lie. He was just allowing me to to see some good family entertainment. Entertainment, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, and that's that was uh, that was that was cool. You know, I I always remember that. You know, uh, from him. But fucking you know, wrestling, I like. It's like I'm like you. I can't follow the storylines anymore. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I, I think the last time I watched uh, good entertainment by a by a wrestler, it was me watching One Night in China. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, Jody Lauer, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, that was uh, that, that was uh, I, I just can't remember any other night that I that I that I <laughs> I mean, since since the WrestleMania days when fucking Hulk Hogan body slammed the shit out of Andre, Andre the Giant, right? You know, th- that that level of excitement is it's just something that I have never felt uh since those fucking days you know <laughs> till, till china <laughs> that's awesome i just watched yeah, that, a documentary on like what happened to her or some shit she fucking fell off man yeah it, she was she was doing good in japan like she was teaching english and shit i mean it wasn't yeah. like she was yep. over there doing fucking hentai porn and shit no she was <laughs> she, she was fucking doing she was teaching english and and uh um she just I, I don't, a, I don't know. Alcoholic man and a drug. Yeah, fucking, yeah. You know, That shit just follows you no matter what country you you go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you know if you're famous, dude, shit yeah. comes to you. Yeah, I remember a real big a big quote that I've always remembered was Richard Pryor saying, you know, they're talking to him about his fucking cocaine habit and shit like that. And, mm, and cocaine's like, a hell of a drug. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but he's like, look, you're so rich. The shit you don't. 
it's just it just comes to you just like you had said it he was saying it to that tune you know it's just fucking it's just there yeah you know, for someone like us to to get our drug of choice you know it's it's part of our budget it's money it's something we think about correct We're famous and it's money isn't a thing you know it's just it's just there you know well, and and that's another thing like being being who he was you know more than likely it was his his manager or his yep. you know his tour manager or somebody that from from the venue per se that wanted to make accommodations for him that probably you know through a fucking you know uh a little, little, a little tiny mirror with a little <laughs> tiny yeah. silver fucking straw, so he could, <laughs> you know, and and a, and a big old one ounce rock sitting yeah. on, you know, and and that's probably part of it. So for him, it was just, you know, he was getting it for free, more than likely. And it was so, the seventies and eighties. I mean, whew, it was yeah. just the fucking, you know, it's a different yeah. mindset. It's a different mindset, man. We didn't know shit then. We don't know shit now, but we didn't know shit then. And nope, you know, it's no, not at all. Just a free for all. <laughs> it yeah. seemed like it. it seemed like a good yeah, time no shit. coming up shit yeah no shit man nah, it's uh things things uh things 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 change um i mean not not so much i i i think like i was telling you earlier you know in regards to the, the how everything is cyclical yeah. you know everything everything I, i've been shown them in more ways than i can count uh how everything in life is cyclical you know fucking you know let, let's start out with uh um fucking uh life per se uh -huh. you know you start you start out basically you know in, in a position where you can't do shit for yourself you can't you're shitting all over the place you're fucking sneezing fucking boogers everywhere fucking eating your boogers and shit when you at the end of the your, your life when you're 80 90 if we do live to, to be that age we're gonna be just as might as well be babies same thing we're gonna be fragile as fuck we're not gonna be able to fucking remember shit we're, we're, we're not gonna be able to wipe our asses you might fuck around and break a hip taking a shit, you know, you, you never know, you know, it's, it's, uh, uh, bell bottoms, fucking <laughs> super big in the sixties and seventies. They became fucking super big again in the, in the early two thousands. Uh, these, these, these fucking high top haircut haircuts that people are <laughs> rocking now. I, I clearly remember fucking, you know, kid from kid and play who yeah. rocked the highest fucking high top that I'd ever seen in my fucking life. Eraser head. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that dude, I mean, you got all these all these haircuts that people are are popularizing nowadays, and people think, "Oh no, that's fucking haircut is dude." They they fucking used to do haircuts like that back in my days, you know. Yep. And nothing new about that, you know. I'm waiting for the fucking I'm waiting for the flat tops to come back. How about starter around. jackets, starter pullovers? Start, I know, I know. <laughs> I, 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 I I go and get those fucking you know starter shit at Walmart, and I'm thinking, man, I remember when you when. This was the last place you would go to yep. find starter shit. You had to go to fucking Foot Locker yep. or any of those big name fucking shoe stores you know, to sweet. buy your your starter hats that that were snapbacks back then too. Oof. You know the fucking snapback hats, the the fucking starter jerseys or the starter jackets or Man. anything. And, and how at, much? Yeah, you used to look at that magazine East Bay all the time, wanting to yeah. fucking buy shoes and fucking everything. Starter this, Nike that. Exactly, East Bay. Yeah, I remember that. Shit. I mean, it was, it, it was, it was, it was some, it was, it was some good days, I guess. I mean, I saw a dude with his pants rolled the other day. Black dude, big dude, big what? dude. Pants really? rolled, pants rolled as fucking like puffy as fucking shit, and then like like puffy as fuck pants. Really, then, like tight rolls, like Rex Rex Quando type fucking. <laughs> oh, fuck Do you think I'd wear these pants if I didn't have? A <laughs> you think uh, everybody wants a roundhouse kick for me when I'm wearing these pants. That, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Rex Quando, motherfucker! Like, body your sensei. <laughs> body your sensei. <laughs> Use this kip out of everybody to fucking. <laughs> Uh, movie's a classic, dude. Fucking Rex Quando. <laughs> Reminds me of Frank Dukes. The more I, the more I learned about Frank Dukes, I found out he was kind of a fraud. So then I always think of Rex Quando when I think of Frank Dukes now. Unfortunately, fucking worst hurricane in ninety years. All of that greenery is gonna come back. Life has a way of of of, of, of making everything better, you know. And and I'm just hoping that right now, my hope is it. It, it was the government that fucking put us in the, in the position that we're in. The, the 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 people that have to pay for the massive debt of the of the country right now uh, are are by no means in any way, shape, or form uh, at fault for the debacle of the fucking you know economy in Puerto Rico. 
mm-hmm. and we're like being looked at as 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 lazy conniving fucking thieves and shit what what the fuck do we have to do with that when when did they put the fucking budget of the entire island in my bank account <laughs> for me for me you, you know what i'm saying like they didn't put that money in my fucking account then mm-hmm. then that that no that that did not happen i swear you know <laughs> i i was I, I wasn't fucking out buying fucking $13,000 fucking yeah, uh, uh, napkin holders and shit. You know, I, I was, I, I'm, I, I didn't have nothing to do with that. You know, it was a corrupt government that we had for years that slowly but surely fucking threw us into that. But again, much like everything else, everything will, everything that, that, that goes up must come down, you know, and, and when we're down now, we have nowhere to go but up. That's true. So, so I'm hoping that, you know, from now is, is, is we're just on the up and up and, and, like I said earlier, you know, I just, I just, I just want to be a part of it. I just want to be there for, just, just not necessarily to be able to say to anybody or to brag to anybody. Yeah, I was there. No, it's, it's more so of a, of a, of something for me. You know, if, uh, I, you know, I lived so long in Wisconsin that I lost many, many people in my family. You know, and 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 I wasn't able to go to their funerals for one reason or another. And uh, and and that happened again when my dad passed away two years ago. Where you know I had, I had thank God I had gone and seen him uh, right. about a year and a half before that. And I had spent three months with him, and I and I stayed religiously in touch with him uh, after that, um, and always made sure that I told him that that I loved him because I knew he was sick. Mm-hmm. And uh, but but you know it's it, it was just it was just sad. Like I was sad that I that I didn't I wasn't there for them. And now it's like you know what I have this opportunity. I'm gonna take it, grab this fucking bull by the horns, and. And let's see, let's see how far I can fucking ride this, this fucking Bronco uh, before it fucking bucks me off its back, you know. That's a new um, chapter, see. man. It's another chapter yeah. right now, man. Fucking page one of this chapter. I think it's fucking exciting. Scary as fuck, but it fucking also super fucking exciting, man. Yeah. No, I, 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 I am looking forward to it. Um, I've never been afraid of, of challenges. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of uh, not necessarily the challenges and as much as I'm afraid of I'm afraid of, of, of what what is out there that I don't understand, or what is what is out there that I, you know, like. Am I gonna? How am I gonna react to, to everything that I keep hearing about? You know, how am I gonna react uh, when I'm personally there? And and everybody's telling me how how traumatizing it is to see you know everything right now, going from what I knew to the reality now. It's gonna be traumatizing. Um, and I and I fully expect it to be that way. I just hope I can get over it fast enough that 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 it'll push me towards uh, improving and not necessarily towards uh, towards uh, say depression or or, or uh, what is it? Uh, I don't want to become stagnant down there and just uh, I want to know that there that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and, and I and not not just want to know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I want to be the motherfucker helping light it. There you go. You know? Well said. So, so so I'm I'm I'm, I'm excited, fearful. Because mm-hmm. uh, you know, like I said, I don't know what to expect, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to make it happen and and uh, and take advantage of this opportunity and and uh, go go full on, man, and fucking see see how I can be part of the rebuilding process. You know, I got I got a lot of hundreds of thousands of people that are talking about leaving the island, and and yet my buddy calls me up. He's a electrical engineer. And he's looking at it from a different perspective. He he was just working for a company called Trumpf, T R U M F. It's a German company, and, and they apparently build that they're they're a robotics company. They they make uh, uh, robots that help in surgical procedures. Nice. And uh, and he he gets to travel. He he just quit his job uh, last week because he says, you know, you know how much work there's gonna be in Puerto Rico right now. Yeah, where I don't, I don't have to leave. Like it's because his wife and, and and two daughters live in in Puerto Rico. He has to stay. Uh, every every he he goes to Connecticut and stays. Well, not anymore, but he used to go to Connecticut and stay in, stay in Connecticut for five weeks, and then every five weeks he would get a, a weekend in Puerto Rico. Damn. So they would fly. They would fly him back, and, and he was getting tired of that. You know, flying to Germany and flying from Germany to to Mexico or wherever else they they had a plant to help him set up. To help them set up uh, equipment or whatnot, and he was just telling me like, man, you know, I can go back and 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 start, you know, maybe you know, uh, subcontracting the, right. to help rebuild the power grid. 
Right. And, and he's telling me, uh, you know, he used to own a company in Puerto Rico two years ago, uh, four years ago, uh, installing solar panels in houses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he's thinking, you know, you know how much demand is going to be now for this kind of technology? Yep. You know, so so that's that's why he quit his job. He quit his job and went back in, in the hopes that in January he's got everything set to, to begin, you know, working again in Puerto Rico and possibly, you know, just staying over there. And again, if, if you're if you are part of the rebuild right now, instead of leaving, you know, the chances are that you're going to be one of the ones that, that are going to get to stay. Yeah, you know, yep. and, and with your position, you're gonna be already established. By the time everything is back in order, yep. you're gonna be one of the people with credibility, and yeah, and 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 again, established. You're gonna be established. People are gonna know your name. And he he invited me. He was like, hey, you know, if you wanna if you wanna give it a shot. So it's it's not only it's not only about about um you know helping rebuild. I mean, it's it it really is all about helping rebuild and everything like that. But there's the possible underlying effect that i might that this that i might actually be a part of of, of the economic reboots <laughs> that's awesome so so i mean it's uh it, there's so many positives to 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 look at i guess you know when it comes to the the me making the decision to just you know grab whatever i can find in, in my things and i and i and i have a storage and all clear full of crap um but uh but i mean like I already got my TV sold. I already got everything here sold, and the only thing that I have to do is basically pack, throw away garbage, clean my room, and I'm out. I my car is sold. I'm just waiting the waiting for the for the month of October to go by and and get paid again and hop on a plane and off to PR, man. What's a what's a ticket to PR cost? Um, <laughs> are, you buying, are you buying a one way ticket? You're buying a one, one way, ticket, right? Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. yeah, awesome. yeah, one way. Well, fuck yeah. I, I, I pay two oh seven sixty is right. what my ticket is going to cost me, but it ranges from two oh seven sixty to one thousand thirty nine and change for one way. So you just got to break. Yeah, there's there's a break your neck and you're two oh seven sixty. I guess yeah. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck, man. No, there's there's been some airplane airline uh, companies that have jacked up their prices. That's because they know the demand is there. So yeah, a lot of people, that's garbage. you know, have yeah. But that's, um, that's you know, they're on their investigation now. Yeah, they better be because that's as shady as those assholes out there fucking selling water for fifty bucks a fucking yeah fifty no bucks shit. a twenty four <laughs> pack or something like that. You know, it's like yeah, no, it's it, they're uh, it's. They're, they're already the the federal government is already investigating people down in Puerto Rico for mismanagement of uh of of supplies. Man, so I mean it's it's gonna everything now. Again, people should have known that right now, everything is is out in 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 plain view and plain sight of everybody. Yep. You know all these things, and right now with as much monitoring as we have right now from the federal government, I think you would think these more these morons would learn that hey maybe this is not the time to fucking start. <laughs> stealing a bottle of water here or this you know mm-hmm. maybe, maybe now is not the fucking time but you know they'll learn they'll learn uh they'll learn we we puerto ricans we we have we uh it's, I, I i think we're, we're all morons deep inside we just kind of <laughs> learn from our mistakes <laughs> so you're gonna go back you and know, we, we stay, learn stay where your parents were where you were talking um where they were driving from you know we were talking earlier how it, she, yeah yeah, so you're going to stay down at the southern part of Puerto Rico then. Correct. Southeast side, Maunabo. Oh, southeast side, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so so you won't have, you'll be on the same thing. If you, you know, supplies for the next couple of weeks, you're going to San Juan, you you know, your internet access is going to be very limited, all that stuff then, huh? Yeah, I'm going to have to take one trip a month to San Juan, basically to pay bills. Damn. So I can go, so I can go get internet and log on to my, to my bank account and, right. uh, um, cause I bank here, you know, even when I'm in Puerto Rico, I still have my bank is, uh, is fucking Wells Fargo. Right. Uh, don't judge me. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this interview's done. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fucking. <laughs> so yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, it, it'll be, it'll be tricky. I got to talk to somebody from Wells Fargo and see if they can waive some of the fees. Cause to, to get money out down there, it, it, it always costs me like eight bucks. Really? Cause, cause well, the bank down there charges me. A certain set amount, which is like two fifty, you know, for for getting money out of an ATM that's not from my bank, right? And then Wells Fargo for using a bank that's not Wells Fargo, uh, and and it's considered like international. They charge you 
uh, five, five fifty up, up to eight dollars in Jeez. fucking days. So any anytime I had to get money out down there, I had to make it worthwhile. Like I, right. I couldn't just go to the bank. I, yeah, I need a twenty. No, hell no. If I went to the bank, you best believe it. I was pulling out All two, three hundred bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two, three hundred bucks. You know, um, and uh, and and just make sure that I that I that I I guess uh, you know budget it well enough to where I didn't run out of money right away. That's such bullshit that they <laughs> charge you this money, like. Like Wells Fargo, like what the fuck did they do? The the digits in their computer traveled farther. To you know, <laughs> you know, it's not like when you pull out money, some dude at your bank at Wells Fargo is like, "Oh shit, Nelson fucking pulled some shit out." I gotta get up from my desk, go to his account, and and in the vault, and pull out twenty gold pieces, and yeah, go, you know, go wherever else. You know, <laughs> then, okay, I can't. You're gonna charge him off. Pull, like, pull a pull a fucking. He's gotta pull a fucking. Uh, 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 John John Wick and start fucking hammering down on the fucking ground and <laughs> right. breaking through shit. <laughs> to get to your fucking gold, right? <laughs> to and get then, to my gold and coins and shit. And then transfer. <laughs> <laughs> With a fucking push of a button, right. click. Oh, right. Jesus. Oh, my God. I'm so what fucking... What the fuck? So why does it cost them, you know, what the fuck, man? Fees, I don't know, but I'm, but I'm gonna... Shit. Yeah, I gotta go to my bank and, and talk to a... Uh, uh, talk to to the manager and see if if I can. I mean, just, I I just I don't I don't want to. I'm just hoping that they can do something for at least a couple of months. Like, give me give me two fucking months of not being charged out the wazoo for me. You know, being able because if I have to go go to a goddamn ATM that's gonna be fucking two hours away from my house and be in line for two hours just to be able to get some money Man. that 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 I'm not even guaranteed that there's gonna be any money in the ATM by the time I get there. You know, it's uh no 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 electronic transactions just means cash money all the time, which means that at any point you can you can get robbed. You can you know. So I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little I'm a little leery, but I mean I, I've that's where I grew up. That's that's uh you know that's what I know. I guess um you know I'm I'm hoping that uh, that uh, to surround myself with uh with uh, thugs. So that I don't have to worry about getting robbed or anything like that. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I, I just, I just, I, I, my, my fear really is, is that my mom is somehow lying to me and that things are worse off than, right. you know, because that, I've seen pictures, but I haven't seen every picture that I want to see. Right. And I'm having a hard time deciding whether it's just my mom is unable to send me the other pictures or whether she's just trying to hide the fact that that there is, in fact, you know, a lot more damage than she cares for me to know right this moment. Does she know you're so you're seen. on your way? No, she doesn't. Oh no, shit. Yeah, actually, she was supposed to be moving up here for a year because oh. I was gonna get my back surgery done. Oh. Uh, and and this is how funny things is. It's, it just seems like everything lined up in perfect order and harmony for me to be able to go out there mm -hmm. you know like uh and not not just the fact that it was one you know one hurricane it was two fucking hurricanes not uh uh fucking like my car i just put it up on craigslist last week and it sold yesterday i was like holy shit you know i thought i was gonna be waiting until the end of the month and maybe not even sell it before i was gone um the four everything owners? is Huh? The focus? No, no, no. Oh, you no, I, I, I got rid of the focus a while ago. Um, uh, well, I, I did have it when I moved to Eau Claire, but I, I, I got rid of it. Um, no, I had a '99 Acura CL. Fallen. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I drive a right yes right. truck, so fuck it. Oh, right, don't, don't worry, man. My car. I mean, my car was just because I, I like Hondas and. And I knew my my I've been I've been looking for a two door Accord, uh -huh. and uh, and I wanted it five speed, and uh, and all of a sudden you know I'm looking in uh, in Craigslist for like five weeks, and sure enough, on, on that fifth week, you know this this car pops up is a two door Acura CL, you know it's the same, it's it's a, it's a fucking Honda Accord, just a different badge, right? You know, and uh, and and it was white, and it was. Pretty pretty clean, you know, for the the year and all that stuff. It had two hundred and change miles, Oof. and uh, yeah, no, it was it had quite a few miles on it, and uh, but it was you know I, I I didn't have to put a whole lot of money into it, right? And uh, and and I had the car for two years, nice. and I think 
I think I had to put in all in all in those two years I had to put in maybe seven hundred dollars worth of uh stuff. It was uh the air the air the AC uh uh compressor or whatever and uh and uh, and the brake line had, had snapped on it. Oof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh but yeah over overall it was it was a good car. And I mean I got I got I got less than what I paid for it, but I mean, after buying it two years ago, I couldn't exactly expect to fucking get right. you know more than I paid for it. I mean, it's right. not like I like I added gold lining to the seats and shit, or <laughs> you know, I, I didn't I didn't do no such thing. And the car had a few problems. I, I'm actually lucky that I got you know as much as I got for it. Nice. Yeah, so I'm 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 good. good. I'm good. We can just just uh, thinking a lot, man. Thinking a lot. Going constantly on on the computer just to read news and and uh you know it's a it's a mix of emotions you know you see some encouraging you know words from from some people you know um you know telling um, others about the situation and and how we're gonna rise up and whatnot you know we have the pessimists who who are constantly just saying you know how how things you know now it's just that's this is it now we're just going to be, you know, nothing. We're going to be going back to the days when we used to walk around wearing fucking <laughs> palm trees for, for pants and shit, you know. And then and then you have also the other people who are just totally, you know, shitting on us uh, for 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 our, our status. You know, it's like, how the fuck do we have anything to do with that right. shit? You know, if you're if you're a hardworking Puerto Rican or or this and that, they definitely didn't have anything to do with that shit. Right. And that's uh, kind of what I did. Plus, I didn't even live in the island when people were fucking taking all that money. You know, the mo- most of my, my productive work years, I, I it was here in Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. So I, I definitely have, feel like I had nothing to do with that. But I, again, I, I feel like I can be part of the solution. And, you know, to, to sit it back and, and not do anything, I'm, I'm part of the problem. But I want to be part of the solution. So I had to... I had, to, uh, I had to do that. I feel like I have to do that. Yeah, fucking lead them by example, man. More people got to fucking do that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's it's tough to fucking want to be part of the, the uh, something. It's just everybody's got to yeah. go, got to go to work. They got to pay a bill. They got to do this. They got. There's always something that's that's holding. So well, I can't go because who's gonna watch my cats for fucking five? Correct. Days? How am I gonna Correct. go protest in New York? You know. On a message that I'm really, you know, fired up on, but uh, I can't go because I don't have vacation time. You know, that's fucking Correct. stupid. That's horrible. That there's all yeah. these fucking variables that fucking, you know. So I'm in. I'm. I'm in awe. I, I don't want to say like awe or whatever. I, I don't know what the word is off the top of my head, but uh, I commend you big time for making that decision. And I'm, no, I'm thank like, you. envious <clears throat> of you being able to to do something big like that because. That's a fucking like a, we were saying earlier. That's a it's gonna be a new chapter in in your life. Yeah. You're revisiting yeah. old chapters, but it's it's a new you going there. It's this you going Correct. there, you know, and going there in a time of fucking disarray, man. In a time yeah. of need, exactly, man. That's fucking cool. Yeah, I'm fucking borderline jealous because I ain't doing shit. <laughs> well, I mean, no, no. See, I, I I I beg to differ because if you look at things, you know, you're. You're putting in your two cents. You know, you have your podcast. You 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 have your your uh, your forum for you to to expose your views and everything like that, and allow other people to expose their views to. Word. So, I mean, you're 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 doing your thing as well, you know. And and and, and as in as much as you might think that you're not doing a whole lot, you're are actually are absolutely one hundred percent part of the part of the solution. You know, this is more this this is what people need. People need a forum to be able to to whatever views they may have or whatnot. Mm. They should have a forum to be able to voice them. And, and of course, you know, you, you're going to get criticism. You, you can't escape criticism, but you know, so long as it's an open forum and, and people understand that and, and people are able to respect them, you know, every, everybody's opinion, then everything should be fine. It's just, you know, they, they just, uh, you know, they, they got to leave they, all, all that baby behavior, fucking leave it up to the mm-hmm. fucking most powerful, the world's most powerful toddler in Donald <laughs> Trump, leave that fucking behavior to him. Mm-hmm. You know, that if, 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 if you want to fucking go on, on, on 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 the internet on Facebook or Snapchat or Twitter or something like that and fucking go crazy fucking being a moron then by all means go ahead but mm-hmm. but you know you're not you're not doing that you're again you're giving people a voice and that's and that's that's admirable too you know that's uh 
that's that's something that that's that's very commendable. As, I, I mean, as much if not more than 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 what I'm about to do. I mean, I mean, I'm <laughs> fuck. I don't know. I don't know whether to call this <laughs> courage or stupidity. <laughs> You're the, gonna the find only, out. Yeah, exactly. You know, the only way I I have that the, what I've been telling myself is is while being on disability is 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 a is a disadvantage in a certain aspect because you know that you, you the only reason you get it is because you're not fully functional you know you don't get it if your fucking body is is, is functioning to 100 percent of its cap capacity or capability i should say mm -hmm. um but again being on disability puts me in a position where i'm not overly concerned about where my next uh check is going to come from right Whereas, whereas right now we have millions of people down there who have that, that prerogative and they can't really, they, they don't have an answer to that. Um, they, they, they're just trying to figure out where they're going to get paid, how they're going to get paid and all that stuff. But, mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate the comments on, on, on the podcast and that's definitely what I'm, what I'm doing and why we started it. Me and my brother originally were going to start it together, but uh, he's just it fucking, he's so busy. He doesn't have time to fucking be on it like a hundred percent and, and yeah. everything. So, um, but it's about fucking like, like getting to the, to talk to the, to the real people that know real things, you know, like if I, if I didn't talk to you, I would still have really kind of no idea of the status of PR. It would only be like Facebook posts or social media. And that's like what the majority of everybody I know is that's how they're getting their information. And I yeah. don't want that. I want to know a hundred percent from somebody that's like in the fucking mix. And then, and, and that's not why it, I fucking wanted to talk to you. It's not the only reason I, why it just happened to fucking work out that you happen to be Puerto Rican and it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A disaster happening. So that that's huge, you know, there, but you know, I, I, I'm big. I'm really big on on ancient civilizations and Egypt, and you know, I can only watch so many podcasts before I want to talk to somebody that's seen this shit and smelt it and felt it with their own hands, and they can describe it to me because it doesn't matter if I see it on a sixty inch fucking twenty seven k TV. It's it's not the same as being there. So you know, I went out and I and I and I'm finding top names in their field, you know, and reaching out to them because I want to talk to them and, and, and have real people with real opinions, you know, so other listeners can, can, can listen to this knowledge too. And, and maybe it'll spark something in them. But, but again, that's just the reason I started this whole podcast was to fucking get to the truth and be able to talk to real fucking people that are, are living these fucking situations. And, and so to be able to, so you've been fucking super informative to let us all know what the fuck's really going down. And, and you're going to know even more once you're down in the fucking thick of it. It sucks that I probably Correct. won't be able to talk to you like this. Well, well it depends. Cause uh, like I said, you know, I can always, I can always make trips, uh, you know, to uh, areas where there are, where there, where there is internet, you know, I can, right. I can always drive, you know, I, I mean, gr granted that I can't guarantee that the communication was going to be on for, forever and whatnot but i mean i can <laughs> i can try and 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 make it to where you know you can it's like at least get, minutes, get something man. correct yeah 20 minutes yeah. half hour like update like i want to know exactly what it looks like how thing you know your initial reaction when you get down there like it's fucking rare and amazing for me to have to be able to know somebody that's right there right there yeah. to get the actual real fucking like first-hand accounts you know realness yeah, that's fucking. That, that's big, and so yeah. No, I, I, um, no. You, you should try and. Um, no, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know about any other. Like I know, like Snapchat, you can do little videos and whatnot, and so in the same with uh, Instagram and and whatnot. But I'm not. I'm not on like Instagram. I'm not on Twitter or anything like that. But I, I do have that app that uh, that WhatsApp, and oh, okay. I know that I, yeah, WhatsApp. I can. I know that I can transfer. You know, videos. Like oh shit, you know pretty 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 long videos even, and and it'll fucking you know you'll have them on your phone. They, they actually go straight to the memory of your phone. All right, uh, I'm gonna have to look into that. I, I've heard of yeah. WhatsApp. I actually I heard of it because China just fucking uh, banned it in their country. banned it. Yeah, because <laughs> <Yes. laughs> they want everybody to use their shit, not that WhatsApp. Yeah. You know, because WhatsApp was so was perfect for everything they needed, and people weren't even buying new phones. Because they don't need them. They no, just, WhatsApp. It's like you can make calls through WhatsApp. You can, you can. Uh, it's like a, it's like a voice messaging 
thing. Like instead of doing text, you can do text, but you can also record your text. Okay, and just so it, so a, it's, send an it's, audio it's, file, like correct. Okay. Correct. So yeah, so it's all you know, audio files and whatnot. And it's, it's I, I actually it was my my cousins in Puerto Rico that that uh, instigated me to get it because uh they were like oh man you know we can't call your number because because uh, I had back then I still had a, a, a phone with a seven one five area code from Eau Claire. Oh shit! And from Puerto Rico, go figure again. It's international. I don't know how the fuck that happens, but <laughs> they they couldn't call me. They couldn't call me. They didn't have long distance. So I ended up when I went down to Puerto Rico um, through Boost Mobile, my phone. I can call Puerto Rico for free, you know, and it doesn't matter. So nice. So what I did is when I when I got to Puerto Rico and I realized that nobody can call me, I I went and changed my phone number to get a phone number from Puerto Rico, knowing full well that it wouldn't affect my status in any way, shape, or form. You know, it was right. just just changing my number to a PR number. The problem that I have now is because it's a Puerto Rico number that a lot of people that try calling me from here they can't get a hold of me. Oh, jeez. Yeah, like my like my landlady called me yesterday. She was standing right next to me. She's like, "Yeah, no, this 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 is what I get when I call you." And she called me, and I'm waiting for the flipping call to come in. And no, it just goes and and says like the number you have reached is something something one thing or another. Damn, because it's trying to bounce off a tower in PR. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Shit. It goes it goes to PR and then tries bouncing back over here. Crazy. Yeah, so I mean, I can call everybody, but people can't call me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <That's fucked>. whatever. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, but no, but I, yeah, no, I can, I can, like, talk to my mom from from the get go, and you know, I I know that I'm erasing my I'm, I'm erasing my my phone, uh, the gallery and everything like that, and just basically just uh, saving all that space for 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 videos and for shit. Sure. And, for sure. Yeah, and then you know I can. I can make a couple of three, four minute videos and, and hit you up and, and send them through WhatsApp. Or if I if I can't email them to you for one reason or another, I can always, you know, do the video files like that or Cool. Or, you know, I, I can always do all kinds of things. I, I can you know well, I, mean, I, I, I through your phone right now, right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, shit. I mean I would if as long as you got internet connection, the Zoom app should work too. Yeah. I yeah. No, if and and would work in PR and shit. I I don't know. I don't know. Well, it it should. I mean, if if I go, what I, what I'm gonna what I was thinking about doing is basically what everybody's doing. They just go into hotels. Oh yeah. No <laughs> they, they're going. They're going by. They're going by like hotels and hop on their uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, and and go on to the like by the by the emergency um em, emergency command center. Yeah. Um. They they have Wi-Fi, so a lot of people just you know basically just park around there. <laughs> and feed off their wi-fi and uh yeah no, i i that's you got to do what you got to do man yeah. san juan is the only place that actually has some degree of communication so man so those yeah, fights yeah. are saturday the fourth are you legitly have you already purchased the ticket or are you trying to get it as no i'm i'm buying it to, i'm buying it tomorrow it, okay see that if i get it on the, on the if i get it for the third um it costs me 207 dollars if i get it for the Six, it cost me two hundred and thirty-seven dollars. I think it is. Okay. So, so I mean, it's it's a it's a thirty dollar difference, but I'm I'm willing to 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 absorb that um, <laughs> just to watch those fights on Saturday. Right. <laughs> and, and plus, uh, that Saturday the fourth is actually Kim's birthday, so oh, it's, it's right. not gonna yeah, it's not gonna kill her to 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 have me there and help her celebrate her birthday. I'm sure she wouldn't. <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't mind. So if you shoot for the sixth, you'll be down there that week. I mean, I'd like to fucking talk to you again. Like, a, you know, obviously not not the first thing right away is you got to fucking, mm -hmm. talk, you know, let me know how shit's going, you know, establish yeah. everything. But I mean, I guess as soon as possible, I'd like to fucking, you know, um, talk to you again for like 10, 20 minutes, however long is cool. Yeah, um, no, I have to. I have to check in on my family first. For sure. And then and then uh then what I'll do is I'll I'll set up something to where um, my mom and I can go to can go to San Juan uh on on those weekends and, and, and it'll have to be during the day because um it'll it'll have to be during the day because of the, the curfew. Right. Uh, yeah, there's a curfew imposed that uh I think it's seven thirty. 
Everybody wow. has to be indoor. Right? Either 7.30 or 8.30, one or the other. Jeez. I have to find that out. So that it'll have to be during the day. Um, so more than likely we'll have to do it on a Saturday so that you're off. Well, um, shit, whatever works, I'll, I'll figure it out. Because I'll just do it over my phone, too, and I'll stop work and just talk with you. So, okay. Then, you know, I'll just do it over my phone, whatever works best for you because yeah i'll work around your schedule yeah i'll probably um i'll probably um take your address in case okay. i can't like in case i can't like I, I can still write letters and the letters just take it, it only takes four days to reach here okay so cool. so yeah so we, we should be fine well anyway, my, what about yeah, uh you know i'll be watching those ufc fights i you know i watch them the day after through my service yeah. I, I can never watch yeah. them live so i go on the fucking a social media blackout because I don't want to know anything, you know. I just wake up oh, and yeah. watch them. Yeah, yeah, no, I do that too. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be watching them here at my house in Mazo on the fifth on Sunday, like morning. I don't know what your morning schedule is. I know you said a birthday the night before. If you guys are going to kind of party or have fun or whatnot, but I mean that's always an open invite before you leave. If you wanted to swing by for like two hours and watch those fights with me or something fucking send you off and unless you got a lot of shit to do beforehand i totally understand no no i actually don't have a lot of shit to do because by then i'll already have done everything i'll have uh, i guess you should have everything right? yeah by then i'll have everything packed and by then i'll, I'll be already just 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 about ready to go out I'll, I'll just be waiting because i because i fly out of madison thank god i don't have to fucking drive nice. an hour and a half to go to the goddamn airport yeah um so that fucking works great that's cool. Yeah, so no, so right? I, I just swing out to uh, to sock, right? That's where you're at. Yeah, yeah. I could just swing out to sock in the morning and pick you up and fucking come back here and watch those fights. Yeah, sure, Shit, absolutely. Man. Yeah, we should try to do that, man. Fucking hang out before you head out. Yeah, no, I'll tell I'll tell uh, Kim tomorrow. I'll, I'll buy the ticket um, for for the for that for that uh, Monday the sixth. Cool. Cause that's 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 really what I was thinking about. Anyways, this is getting it then. <laughs> let me let me actually double check the the pricing again. Hold on one second. Yes, hi Nelson. It is me. It is I indeed. Hold on. MSN, Madison, Wisconsin to SJU. I already know the fucking codes. Yep. <laughs> let me see, and it's the sixth Monday. Not not two adults, one adult. Because if you fucking put in two adults, they give you the they bundle them up and they give you fucking <laughs> prices that you're like, oh my god, look at that, one eighty three. Yep, that's if you buy two, not if you buy one. <laughs> yeah, let me see this. Oh, this fucking flight, motherfucker. Um, Just buy two seats then, man. If they're cheaper. Well, cheaper to an extent. I mean, I don't, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it is cheaper, but, but it's not, you still pay a bunch extra. I guess all those hidden fees. Yeah. Let me How see. How long of a flight is it? How long of a flight is it to PR? Um, if, uh, if I go, if I go through O'Hare, it takes me from O'Hare, I think it's five hours. Oh, that's not too shabby. Yeah, from here to 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 O'Hare is from here to O'Hare is I think an hour and fifteen minutes, and then I'll sit in O'Hare for an hour or so, and then it flies out to San Juan. Um, see, this one here is two twenty-seven. Oh man, motherfucker! So yeah, and this one is uh, fifty-eight minutes in in in, in O'Hare. But this flight leaves at five thirty in the morning. I don't know when it arrives at O'Hare. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me see. Let me select this one. I'll, I'll tell you right now. It'll give me the details in the fo both flights. Mm -hmm. All right. Dane County Regional to Luis Munoz Marin International Airport. Let me see. Six hours and 35 minutes total. And that's not including bad. the layover. Not yeah, bad. it's not bad, not bad at all. And the ticket is actually one ninety five. It's thirty two bucks. Yeah, thirty two bucks for uh for taxes and fees. Oh, I see. <clears throat> two hundred bucks to hop on a fucking couple ton piece of metal and fly over fucking shit to the homeland. Yeah, 
Yeah. It fucking trips me out every time I see a plane in action. I still don't get it. <laughs> some sort of simple math like lift first pull or drag or some shit makes that happen. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Fucking, fucking well, it, it, I started trying to do that math and shit, and then I, I then, then the fucking thought of bees come to mind, and I'm like, yep, that's that's a fuck up. How the fuck did they do it? That, that's, the, that's the equivalent of fucking putting... I don't know, somebody like Yokozuna and give them fucking little wings and watch them right. fucking fly around. Right. That's crazy as fuck. Right. <laughs> fucking A. No shit. Yeah, it, yeah it's like, it's like uh, it, it would be like an hour, so six hours and 35 minutes. That's less than an hour to O'Hare. Less than an hour to O'Hare and then 58 minutes of waiting time. So it's basically going from one fucking gate, hopping on a different plane, and for, for less than an hour, I mean, this this uh-huh. thing should take off in less than an hour. That's what I'm counting on. Yeah, that I'm not laid over and and fucking O'Hare for two, three, four hours. Mm. Um. So yeah, it, it it's it's about a five hour flight. I mean, it's it's bad when you got a bad back. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Normally, what I do is uh, is is I I medicate, man. I fucking medicate. I fucking to. take. I I take uh fucking muscle relaxant. All right. Um. Right, right before I start driving to the airport, I take mm-hmm. a muscle relaxant, and that normally because I don't take them often, they fuck me up. Really? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, they fucking zombie me out. Next uh-huh. thing you know, I'm I'm snoring and shit. Next to, I don't I don't give a fuck drooling. <laughs> Still driving. <laughs> Hell yeah! No, I I I'll take that shit, and then I'll, I'll try to sleep as much of the flight as possible. Mm-hmm. Um. But I know, I know because of the the emotions behind it, I know I won't be able to sleep. It's gonna be tough. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I don't want to. You know, this is one of those flights. Like normally, I sit, I sit in the aisle seat because I I get up. I tend to get up a lot to to loosen up my 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 back so I don't get cramps and all that shit. And and this time I actually want a window seat just so I can fucking see firsthand from the yep. plane. Yeah. Um. The 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 destruction from the air. Mm-hmm. That, that's 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 one thing that I'm really curious about. Mm. So. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be a shock. I'm not gonna lie. I know that it's gonna be fucking. It's gonna be shocking. I know it's gonna be fucking. You know, uh, it's gonna be crazy. But but I, but I, you know like I. Like every good Puerto Rican, I feel like I have to put my my two cents in the helping and the recovery <laughs> process. Okay. I, have, I have to do it. I have to do it. I, I can't. Like I said earlier, I don't want to get to a point where I regret not going there. Word. Not knowing that I could have. So, yeah. <laughs> cool beans, man. Good anyway, shit, man. Yeah, fuck yeah. Always. Fucking good shit. Well, shit. We've been rocking for close to three hours. Good shit. Fucking long. One longest podcast I've ever done. Word. <laughs> <laughs> so probably got to cut it off here because A, I'm fucking getting a little tired myself and B, I don't even know if I can edit this much audio. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Well, you know, e- e- either way, either way, next time, you know, we'll we'll actually probably just, uh, you know, circumscribe a lot around, a, you know, a topic or two. Yeah, maybe. Whereas, whereas today there, there was a lot of, you know, of course, you know, we haven't talked in a while. So right. we, 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 we touched on a lot of issues and not particularly in, in, in certain particular issues and whatnot. What I can do too, man, that I, that I, I, I want to know, like we could do something when I'm down there uh, regarding the state of the fight game in Puerto oh, Rico. Yeah. There is, there is MMA in, in Puerto Rico. There's MMA like fighters it. down there. And uh, and there's a lot of shit on the boxing gyms and everything like that, and uh, you know I can start fucking hitting up some of my you know some of my my guys and shit, and then just start visiting gyms and taking pictures and shit and and, and like seeing that. how how the fight community in Puerto Rico you know it's uh is is w- what they're doing in order to, to to both stay in shape and and get back into the fight game um you know ASAP. I like it. I like it a yeah. lot. We should roll with that. That'll be cool. Fuck yeah. Cool. Yeah, and that, that, that'll that'll give me that'll give me more 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 than because I, I need something else to to focus on while I'm down there. Right. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Well, cool. So, yeah, right. Fucking, we that's, can iron out those details for sure on Sunday when we fucking hook up. Or shit, that's not. Hell yeah. I'm not. I'm talking like it's this Sunday. That's actually in probably like yeah. two or three weeks. Yeah. You still talk or you you quit? Oh no, I'm all, I'm I'm always there. I'm there. <laughs> so we'll, we'll be just fine on Sunday. <laughs> Good shit. 
for sure. Good shit. Yeah, yeah. All right, my man. Well, I'm gonna cool. let you go then, so you yeah. can rest, bro. It was all fucking. It's always a fucking pleasure to talk to you. We'll, we'll 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 sit down on Sunday and we'll and that, well, when whenever are you talking about the, uh, talking this Sunday or are you talking about you know the fights on yeah the November fight so? Sunday the fight Sunday. All right, all right, for cool, sure. cool then. Because we didn't even get to talk about Scott Van Dusen and Ed and Fritz. Oh shit! Yeah, no shit. <laughs> oh my god. Right. <laughs> Have you heard from from Scott at all? I haven't heard oh, shit yeah. from him. I don't even know. No idea. <laughs> Hopefully, he's still working <laughs> on his 518k encryption that he was going to sell a Visa or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, he he had ideas, man. He's fucking. That was that was. Sure. 15 years ago almost so <laughs> he's probably Jeez. still in the same spot <laughs> M- probably <laughs> gangster all right. all right my man well i'm gonna let you go then all right. do your thing boy and uh, you know we'll, we'll keep in touch bro you know just uh anytime call me hit me up on on whatever you know and or hit me up on, on facebook every now and then i'm on there just not not always but word uh but yeah i you can be- best way to reach me is definitely through text or or whatsapp those, right. those are definitely the ones that work the best. All right. Sounds good, brother. All right, man. We'll take right. it easy, bro. All right. Take care, boss. Yeah, yeah. You as well, man. Later. Have a good night. All right, later. All right, guys. That's it. Three fucking hours later. This episode is done. Thanks again to Nelson Aponte Colon. We'll see you fucking next time. Can't wait to hear an update. What the fuck is going to be going on down there? What the fuck you got yourself into? What else can I fucking tell you to go do? Go see HaleySpaghetti.com if you want to fucking read the greatest book ever fucking written. But I guess until then, shit. I still don't have a fucking tagline. I don't even know what the fuck to say to how to end these things. Until then, I'm out now. See, this shit don't even work. Reminds me of Boondock Saints too, where the dude's in the fucking in the in the closet. He's got the hostage. The only reason he's got the fucking hostage is because he needs help fucking creating a tagline. <laughs> he had a good one though. Maybe I'll end it with that. He ended it like this: Ding dong, motherfuckers! Ding dong! Don't forget to like and subscribe.